This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva Luxury Mattress, the only online mattress company that provides free delivery, setup, and mattress removal. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Your Mom's House with Tom Segura, Tom Segura. and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to Your Mom's House. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by BetterHelp.com. Go to BetterHelp.com slash YMH, and you can get a counselor to start working with you within 24 hours. Um, BetterHelp provides online counseling services, which is really something that you know we've endorsed for our own personal lives for a long time. Are you kidding me? I've been in therapy for 10 years and it's been the one thing that's helped me the most and I recommend it for everybody. I don't know how people go through life without seeing a therapist. It's the one investment you should make in yourself for your happiness for the for your rest of your, rest of your life. It's true. And these are licensed therapists that are available worldwide through multiple modes of communication, text, chat, video, phone, again, licensed professionals that can work with you. It's important to note, this is not a crisis line, uh, but this is for somebody that wants to engage in ongoing therapy. It's quite affordable, and even uh, if you can't afford that, there is financial aid available. Uh, but uh, you know, we can't, we can't endorse or stress enough how much it's helped the two of us. I actually got jealous of how <laughs> happy and, and just uh and you know content and like you became from going to therapy oh, so yeah. i started probably i don't know five six years ago and i've, I've been really it's the best yeah, you're happy I've been really happy with it because the thing is people walk around with uh, depression anxiety and there's no need to suffer you can see somebody you can talk to somebody and betterhelp.com slash ymh yeah it's secure it's prov- it's professional it's convenient Go to betterhelp.com slash YMH and see if it's it's right for you. Chips in a bowl. That's a big, big news. Shit is major right here, son. All right, I've been uh, working on this for a long time, but it's finally here. I can announce oh. that my new tour, oh. the Take It Down tour, is coming to a city near you in 2019. Kicks off in January, and it's going to run through the year. Um, for people asking that, like, if you're coming to... October, November shows like uh, Boise, Sacramento, Boise, Philadelphia, all those. Uh, yeah, that's it's that's, that's not a new. That's not going to be separate from the stuff in January. That that's the tour. But that's part you know, of the tour is what yeah, you're this saying. This is called branding. <laughs> We're branding it starting in 2019. But yeah, you're seeing the new hour. Obviously, if you're coming to these shows in the next couple months, um, there's a lot of cities. I'm not going to list them all. Uh, and by the way. This is the most fun part of like posting something and explaining it in detail. Yeah. Is like I'll post here's the first leg of the tour, but don't worry, 20 more cities are coming, international co- markets, Canada too. First comments. How come Toronto's not on the list? Right. Why aren't you coming to Minneapolis? Right. Dude, I am. I am. Why can't you read? Why why come why come you're not coming to Canada? And you're like, I just yeah, told I, you why. I, it says in the thing, a full Canadian tour is God coming. damn it. But what about Vancouver? How come you're not here? Maybe your fans can't read. Cause Maybe my, they can. Mine can. No, I'm serious. <laughs> How come you're not coming to Austin? Bitch, I'm coming to Austin. It's Bitch. obviously going to be the second half. Yeah. What is the face of art? How do you fart in it? I don't understand this. <laughs> what is the words on the poster? And he's like, what is the quality of this? <laughs> um... Anyway, no, I am really excited. Uh, I added a fourth show in Philly, if I didn't mention a that. A fourth show? A yeah. fart, fart show? At the Merriam Theater. Get those are, your life. Those are all on sale uh, now. Go to TomSegura.com, click on the tour. It all goes on sale Friday. This Friday, the entire tour is on sale. 
Thank you all, your mom's house listeners, for support. I appreciate it. Um, Gene, what do you got? But will you be going to Boise? Boise Seed? Did you, are you coming to oh, Boise? Oh, I also got like, it would be <laughs> cool if you came to, to Boise. And I go, but I'm there like in a couple weeks. Yeah. Oh, I didn't look at that. Yeah. Yeah. So what are, what are you suggesting people do? Read your your calendar online, perhaps? Dude, I mean, it's in the fucking caption of the post. <laughs> okay. All right, go ahead. Okay, mommies. November 24th in Man Diego, California. My 7 p.m. show is sold the fuck out. We've added a 10 p.m. show. House of Brews, November 24th. That's after the holidays. Listen, your your family's over. It's time to get the fuck out of the house. That's that's Saturday. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. Drag them to the show. Bring them out. Or run away from your family and come see me do uh, my brand new hour. It's not stuff. This I have a Netflix special coming out in October. It's going to be different from that shit. That's awesome. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Never not grinding seven <laughs> days a week, y'all. Hustle hard. <laughs> <laughs> December 7th, fill her up Delphia at the Punchline. Uh, that that one's almost sold out. It looks like we're going to be adding a 10 p.m. show as well. Uh, Jew Dork Titties, December 8th, sold out 8 p.m. show. Added a 10.30 show at the Gramercy Theater in Jew Dork Titties. Tickets at Christina P. Online. You know what I'm saying? I'm writing, producing, directing, all that shit. That's what's up. Okay. Man, I'm so ready. We, this is such an exciting episode. It's very exciting. We have friends joining us. Yeah. We have a lot to cover, a lot of things to discover, you know. Uh, what is uh, uh, face fire? <laughs> face fire. Face fire. I like what uh, you clarify. It's a face fire. What is, uh, I don't, I don't. Uh, what is uh, uh, face fire? Face fire. <laughs> you can't infer what face farts are by mm-hmm. the, thing, try it. the thing called face fart. You should try it. You, to... you should try it. My specialty is uh, face fa- farting. My specialty. Uh, what is uh, uh, Face fart. I don't know. <laughs> uh, how do you say a face can, fart? Can you uh, make a make a show for me? So I a process a, a face farting. So stupid. So stupid. Um, uh, all right, Gene. Let's press play. Let's get going. Ready? Go for it. Let's do it. This is one of the more bizarre stories we've seen in a very very long time. <laughs> a Gilbert man is accused of duping caregivers into thinking that he was special needs. <laughs> And then paying them to change his diaper and bathe him. Yes. This shit is big time. Who is Randy? <laughs> Don't bring anyone mother to this. <laughs> your mom in the fucking stand. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. Yeah. I love this guy. Change my diaper. Now, do you think he was wearing a diaper before? Like, that's his thing? Yeah. And he's like, God, this is so tedious changing these diapers i need the, uh, i need help the caregivers i read this article well let's let's show you some stuff first yeah, <laughs> but it's sure. pretty great um i'll tell you what i read in the article yeah mark it is one of the more bizarre stories that i've reported on police uh-huh. say a grown man who had caregivers help change his diaper and bathe himself <laughs> really never needed help at all what what's your full name and date of birth my name's paul anthony minchaka august 18th 1987 Police say this man, 30-year-old Paul Machaca, pretended mm. to have Down syndrome. <laughs> okay. According to court documents, he posed as a woman named Amy on a website called carelinks.com, looking for caregivers to change his diaper and bathe him regularly. A total of three caregivers would end up falling for this scheme. Can I ask you something so far? Where's the harm? Well, here's the harm. I mean... Let's just what's say the, what's the problem here? I mean, let's just say like he didn't stiff them on pay. No, but he's posing as special needs. I agree. So where's the harm? Can't can't he just be like, look, I enjoy wearing a diaper. I want someone to change. It's is, do you think it's a fetish? Is that yeah. what this is? And I mean, he, sexual... he's, he's not going to a dom like Miss Face Farter, right? Which is probably who sh- he should have gone to. But at the end of the day, I mean. They're just changing his dye dye and bathing him. But they're but that's they're real caregivers. Like it the it's a manipulation. And it's not cool. It's not nice. But <laughs> But he posed as somebody named Amy. I think that's No, so Amy Amy, I think, was the online thing where he was like I'm Amy I'm Amy. Can you help, you know, Chris or whatever. Oh, he's the care he's a caretaker yeah, yeah, yeah. of the slow, special and needs special Yeah. It's special and needs for its face. So what farts. is special and needs? <laughs> I don't I don't understand it. 
a face of art is the same. Uh, changing my diaper. So he. All these documents state the caregivers became suspicious when he aggressively would state he needed to be cleaned better in certain areas. Uh, okay, so here's the harm. Okay, here it goes. <laughs> I need to huh. get cleaned better down there. Down there. That, there's always a pervy angle with dudes. Yeah, of course. Always. Always. They're so nasty. There's no limits to no. how far we will go. Why are, what's the difference So though? nasty. Why aren't you guys as nasty? Because we don't, because you guys are in the power position in society. You guys are the ones who can rape know. and kill and but, torture. But and we're the why... ones that are submissive because of our physical strength, I think. That's but my But what does theory. that have to do with why is it why are we so I nasty? can't manipulate you like you can manipulate me, right? Like if I don't give you what you want, you can forcibly hold me down and hurt me. Jesus. So like what an example. That's why you fuck with people. It's a power thing. But why does Louis C.K. jerk off in front of people? Do you know what I'm saying? It's a power thing. So this guy is just flexing his power? Yeah. But Instead he's just, of just like clean me better downstairs. <laughs> And that, but he has to, you have to do it special needs. But you have to do it more better. It's dirty still. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> right. You have to do it like Forrest Gump. Ma- Mama said that if you have a dirty chocolate backside, then you can't sit for dinner and supper that, that Mama made. Right. Like this guy was basically doing a Forrest Gump impression sure. the whole time. So. I mean, do you think like he would drop character sometimes? And they're like, Probably. Wait a minute. I, I'm sure they were like, hmm. You're not special needs. Probably. Yeah, the article I read was that they were <laughs> bathing him, uh, that, that all three caregivers were like, every uh, bathing he had uh, an erection for huh. every bathing. That's weird. You mean this guy is just not a straight up needs a diaper change? The report says one caregiver followed Menchaca and knocked on the front door. It states she was greeted by his parents, who later confirmed to police their son does not have Down syndrome and did not <laughs> need assistance with bathing or using the restroom. Hmm. They had to confirm it with the parents. That's she pretty was like, funny. I've been washing your son's nuts, <laughs> and uh, oh, these nuts ain't F G T R T D D. What? But this is what Menchaca said to the judge. I do have a low IQ level, and my mom has paperwork. My mom and dad both have paperwork to prove that. And, oh. Um, starting to talk to my dad about getting me some help and getting me into a counselor. Mm-hmm. But he does have a low IQ. Does that not qualify? I don't know. I think just the way that he even stated that shows his IQ is too high Oh, it, to be low IQ. Oh, you mean like if you know you have? Oh, no, I'm not saying you can't. Like if you had a low IQ, you could you could be aware of it, but I just feel like he has too much awareness to be as low IQ as he's claiming. You know. You know, after I delivered Julian Mm -hmm. You had a low IQ? I had a such low IQ. Mm -hmm. This nice nurse washed my vagine for me Mm -hmm. and she did not lick it up. But it was one of the most uh, wonderful things. Yeah. Once I got over the humiliation, the embarrassment of it, I was like, "I I could get used to this. Having it cleaned? Someone else doing it. I would love for someone to come wash my backside. Right. And put a dye dye on you. That'd be great. I don't know if I want to shit in my diaper though. This guy does. I know. That's really that's, you really gotta love it. You the, gotta love the game. <laughs> you gotta love the diaper game. I I wouldn't yeah. I wouldn't mind peeing in a diaper. But I think you're right. Browns are like ew, then it mashes up against you and everything. Yeah. Bad. But I still would like the sponge bath. Yeah. And then I go, wash m- more down there. And needs more soap. You need to make it more clean. It's still dirty down there. And then I just look to the side. It's still dirty. And she goes, I think it's clean now. I go, no. <laughs> still dirty. Yeah, I like that. Ugh. Ugh. He was waiting. One of the victims also spoke out. It has affected my work as well. I've actually missed work for that, and I think that it should be held with either a substantial bond amount or where he would not be released until the next court date because I I fear for my safety in regards to that as well as my family and friends because I did bring my family and friends around him. Oh, so now it's actually worse than I I mean, those caregivers are so vulnerable. Like, these people are angels that do work like this, that show up at some stranger's house. They're totally in the vulnerable position here. Like, my goodness. This poor woman. Uh, touch uh, my poo-poo. Uh, uh, your diaper. 
We knocked on the door to see if the family would speak with us. <laughs> oh, you think they, they didn't answer? Oh, no kidding. Menchaca faces 10 counts of sexual abuse oh, among God. other charges. He'll be back in court on September 17th. I didn't Reporting know live, Courtney Griffin, Fox 10 News. He's they didn't facing want... 10 counts of That's sexual abuse. That's a lot. I thought he was just facing like a uh, posing, you know? As a special needs person? No, just like, uh, I don't know, some type of impersonation charge. I didn't realize it was... It's abuse, though, to make these women, I'm assuming. Yes. Uh, what is uh, uh, face fire? Face fire. <laughs> face fire. Let me explain. Oh, I face fire. You're confused. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, this is, this was in the, uh, uh, on, on the, on the television. Uh, yeah. Speaking Going of- down to third base. Nice play, Machado. He'll make the throw over. Pujols is retarded. <laughs> Pujols? Uh, yeah. That's you. I know. The Albert Pujols of comedy. Yeah. Pujols is, is a R-worded? That's what it sounded I don't like. I want to say it. Sounds well, like what it. it. Play it again. I want to hear it. Pujols is retarded. <laughs> I mean. What? Things sounds like they should focus on well, this there, man. There needs to be outrage. We have to get that man fired. How dare you say He's Dominican. You don't call him R-worded. <laughs> <laughs> what does that have to do with his Yeah, he's mental... still a baseball player. Treat him with respect. <laughs> Jesus. Paul <Pulse> is retarded. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> super disrespectful. Yeah. How old is Albert Pujols now, for real? He's been around a minute, right? Yeah, he was close to my age, so he's probably 63 now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the pool. What show is it I wanted to watch with you last night? And you said it wrong. I've been making funny all day. Oh, Sharp Objects. I said you, the, the Sharp yeah, Objects. Yeah, you go, are we going to watch The Sharp Objects? I'm like, babe, it's not The Sharp Objects. But then I started, you didn't, even catch, you didn't catch what I started doing. Nerd. I started looking at other titles, and <laughs> I, I said the in front of all of them. <laughs> I got you. Oh. Of course I saw <laughs> <laughs> How many titles I have said, the? You wanna, Gosh. You want to finish The Ozarks? You the Ozarks. <laughs> Oh my God, I have not, I swear <laughs> to you. Do you ever feel like with with certain, especially because we work in comedy and we're comedians and we, you know, we're just around it all the time. You forget how funny some people, you take it for granted because they've been around for a minute. You know what I mean? Yeah. How talented, how funny some people are. Yeah. Where you go, somebody brings them up, you're like, yeah, you know, of course. Yeah, they're awesome. But then you're like, whatever. Mm-hmm. Because it's, it, it's like, it's, it's in your head that they've been around. You watching your own specials again, and you're no. like, "I'm blown away by me." No, I am blown away <sighs> by Sasha Baron Cohen. Oh my, me! I was thinking the same thing. You because forget how fucking talented that guy is. That guy. We finally got around uh, to starting Who Is America. Oh my god! The Who Is America. The, the Who Is his <laughs> Showtime series that came out earlier this year. Actually, I ran into Metzger. Uh, Kurt Metzger a couple weeks ago at the store. Yeah. And he's a writer on, on this. Yes, I saw his name on the credits. And we were talking briefly about He's like, oh, you haven't seen it? And I go, no. He was like, and it, I think it's actually what prompted me to finally do it because he's so, Kurt's so funny that when he said, like I could tell how much joy he got from working on and, and seeing the show. I was like, I, I got to check this out. I have laughed harder <laughs> watching four episodes of that so far than anything I can recall in the last couple of years yeah that that's how funny that guy is to me he's amazing he does these other characters for those of you who don't know who sasha baron cohen is he's the guy that did ali g and bruno borat and borat and the dictator i mean and then he's doing one on who is america and he's got these great characters one is a left-wing npr ultra liberal so funny he's like i'm a privileged white male yeah. Uh, he says, I think the most dangerous chemical in the world is <laughs> testosterone. <laughs> and then and he has like a big <laughs> pot belly and yeah. he, he has a ponytail and he, you know, he goes around interviewing conservative people. It's just so. F- and then he's got like ultra conservative he says, characters. He says in God. one thing that he's trying to take back the word pedophile. <laughs> he's like, because uh, I love kids. So I'm proud to call myself one. <laughs> and this guy's like, no. <laughs> he's like, yeah, yeah. Let's reclaim that word. <laughs> And he's he's like, like, you're a pedophile too. And the guy's like, stop saying that. (laughs) (laughs) But he has so many great, he has a, and like a Alex Jones like character where the, uh, the thing says library truthberry (laughs) and that's (laughs) truthberry.org. And he has these nutty conspiracy theories. Yeah. Um, then he has that Israeli, um, 
sergeant, terrorist, yeah, terrorist training. It's now, so, but like the scenarios are so ridiculous. But he's just so fucking funny, man. Well, what's scary too is that he finds actual politicians and he fucks with them, and you see how super R worded a lot of our representatives are in government. Yeah, it's terrifying how they are. Not at like one of them takes it takes no encouragement for him to just shout the n-word yeah like yeah with television cameras rolling yeah dope and he, he had to retire he had to resign after this yeah i know you it's know crazy. Just... yeah yeah crazy Just screaming it yeah it, it's a it's fantastic is it showtime or hbo yeah, showtime showtime man that's sasha baron cohen yeah. he's his he's married to a funny lady too what's her name is that I amy adams no Am I isla, thinking fisher. The, isla fisher she's funny too yeah she is um i love when Comedy people get married. Yeah, that's great. I don't, but it's cool. <laughs> He's uh, he is so funny, and I cannot endorse that show enough. And I, I don't know if that show's getting enough credit, and I feel I don't like think it's it is. not. I think and... part of it too is they're like, ah, it's Sasha Baron Cohen. Like some people are just like, oh, that guy who does the thing, but. You see what he's doing in this, and it's it's so fucking. Funny. I do feel like he's he's been been kind of written off in a way, and I. That's what I'm but saying. But his movies are don't they do well? Didn't the dictator do well, or I don't know? I think why. the dictator did fair. I think it's it was probably in comparison to to Borat, which crushed the box oh, office. Oh, Borat was amazing. But they always, you know, you're always weighed upon like what your last movie did. Yeah, and but, and I I bet you it's hard to do the show because so many people recognize him. For sure, that's why he's in like incredible prosthetics I mean, really good for this i was like damn i wouldn't well they probably spent a day getting him in each you know <laughs> could you imagine oh my god what a nightmare when he goes to he goes to some kind of rural town in arizona and yeah. tells them he's got great news that the world's or the, like the second biggest mosque in the world is going to be built <laughs> in their town Man. but the funny thing is that also people do not care to hide who they are yeah with cameras there no. They're like, what the fuck? We don't want a mosque here. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's like, no, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be like a first class mosque. And they're like, we don't give a shit. And then, and then he's like, here's a look at the future of what it's gonna be like on your streets. And it's oh, like, yeah. you know, men walking their camels everywhere, yeah. wearing those, you know, robes. I don't know yeah. what the male version. <laughs> Things are written. It's, it's all Arabic. in Arabic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. And they're so pissed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so pissed. So good. What's really interesting is they. Re- revealing um, just how racist Americans are against Middle Easterners and, so, and, and Muslims. And so is like every other segment of that of that <laughs> show. <laughs> it's like every other segment, you're like, wow, everyone's really racist. <laughs> yeah, it's a good show. Yeah, it's pretty pretty great, man. He's great. Now, have you been watching a new murder show, or as I like to say, studying for the future? No, you're, and I'm you're bummed all out, out about it. Yeah, well, you finished Ozark. I'm behind. Yeah, I finished it. It's great. God damn it. I, I, um, so what are you watching? It. What's the new serial killer lineup? They're not. I'm. I'm actually getting into some spiritual stuff. Get no. I am. I am. I'm trying to get in, in touch with that other side. I found this pastor that I'm really into. I swear. Oh, Shanaka Anderson, how you a pastor in cursing? Be aware of problems. We are definitely living in our last age. Well, bitch, let me tell you something. You <laughs> must be a bitch, like Cheryl. Yes, I cuss. I'm the cussing pastor while your motherfucking pastor ain't doing a goddamn thing. Okay. I like him already. See, that's why I'm into him. I'm the cussing pastor that used my platform to raise $6,000 for this mother who was going through a plight while these other ignorant-ass, non-functioning-ass pastors wasn't doing a motherfucking thing in this city. Right. Now, Mm -hmm. if that bothers you that I'm a cussing pastor, then get your motherfucking ass off my damn page. Plain and damn simple. See, I don't play. It's about being real. Mm-hmm. It's about the truth. And I don't give a damn what none of you bitches said and none of you whole ass niggas either. A <laughs> lot of... <laughs> I love it. A lot of pastors don't talk like no. him. But I like that he talks like this. I mean, does it say in the Bible you can't curse? Does it say that shit? I don't think it says ho ass N-word. No. But it doesn't say you can't curse. Yeah, God never said thou shalt not curse. That's not one of the commandments. That's true. God is real. God is real. God blesses. God blesses what, Tom? Well, you mean to find... Uh... No, please. <laughs> <laughs> it was a different time when we could it's record that. Telling the truth, oh, just like it is. So, bitch, bye. I'm going <laughs> to take you off the page so you don't have to worry about it. Bye, See, y'all be worried about the wrong thing. You curse. Yes, I curse. Hell, Jesus probably cursed. That's probably. right. Jesus be sitting up in heaven looking at you ignorant ass Negroes and saying, damn, I made that fool. I love him. 
Mm. I kind of, can I tell you, because there is this misconception that- This language thing is silly. It's silly that people who don't curse are better or more moral than people that do curse. It's just, it's nonsense. Your morality has nothing to do, right? No. It's so silly. There are great people. Like, we always have this thing about, in comedy, the scariest comics- Yeah. Are the ones who are squeaky clean, uh, uh, right? Look, look at Bill Cosby, the, the psycho number one. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and the thing in the flow and the hey, hey, hey. Yeah, yeah. No, and, it's true. It is true. He's the biggest uh, asshole of them all, for sure. Yeah, he's a serial rapist, but yeah. but it's it is true. But he's and clean, then, and then he's very clean. And then these really depraved. Yeah. Acts that say the nastiest, filthiest things. Nasty. Usually, shit. usually the sweetest. <sighs> yeah. Most trustworthy. Look, look approachable at, people. Uh, Dave Attell. Yeah. I'd say total our, sweetheart. Uh, one of the nastier, nastier acts. Why oh, you gotta be so nasty, Dave? But uh, one of the nicest human beings alive. Yeah. I'm trying to think who else is nasty. So nasty. You're so nasty. That we know. Mm. <laughs> You're kind of nasty. I'm a little nasty. People would say that you and I are kind of nasty. But I'm a sweet boy. We're the nicest people. I'm a sweet boy. We're the nicest. Yeah. I'm way nicer than you. I'm the nice champ. You are the nice champ. <gasps> you just gave that to me like that? You could take nice. Really? I think I think people would disagree if they met us. That's not true. People. people approach me all the time. I'm always <laughs> nice to them. I'm never not nice to people who approach me. Really? Of course. You're, But you're not... You're a little standoffish. Sometimes. I don't think I'm standoffish. I'm saying I'm not going out there like, "Hello, you wreck it." Like I'm not that. I'm, I'm not soliciting attention. I, I not. I'm not. Oh, yeah. No, I don't. I don't solicit it. No, I know either. you don't. But I'm saying I. I don't. I'm saying if anyone ever approaches me, I always am really nice. To so them. am I. Yeah. I'm the manners champ, though. I've better manners than you. And you and, know that's not true. <laughs> you know that's not true. It's just out of ignorance, though. I'm just not as classy. I wasn't raised as classy as you. So you would at least tip your hat my way for that. You're like the, I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I would say that you're like the decorum champ. Like, you know how to act right. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to act right in a lot yeah. of situations. But that's, that's just because I was raised like a fucking animal. Yeah, I've, to I've told you in, uh, in certain situations. Like, yeah. What are you doing right now? You got to you <laughs> And you're like, oh, all right, all right. Or sometimes I'll ask you, I'll ask you, like, how do I act normal? Like, what what do normal? What would a normal Hilarious. person do here? But you've helped me. Yeah. I was just telling somebody the other day, like, you you made me a normal human being. You you kind of you taught me how to be American and civilized. I Thank was a you. Hungarian wild dog before. Yeah, and now now here I'm we a are. fucking lady. I'm a mom. Yeah, Mo mother of two. Um. This just came in, and I haven't read it, oh, but I let think- Let me guess. No. Tom- Is bad. Is right. No, no, I think you're going to like it. <laughs> Look, you can read it. I haven't read it, but I just started reading oh, it. Oh, my damn glasses. I forgot oh. them. Okay, Tom is not right or die is the subject. Let's Hi, see. mommies. I was watching episode 465, and you were discussing whether Christina was a true right or die if she would turn Tom in for murder. I was later discussing this with my boyfriend, and he brought up a very interesting point. Tom is the true betrayer of the ride or die relationship. This is because Christina said she would only turn Tom in for a premeditated killing. And in this scenario, Tom is the first one to betray the relationship loyalty because he did not disclose the planning of the murder. As we know from all of Tom's psycho murder shows, all premeditated killings involve a planning phase. Therefore, upon... Tom planning to kill a barista that got his venti iced coffee extra ice with a splash of soy. Order wrong. Uh-oh, this guy got it wrong. Splash a hole, but yeah. <laughs> he would tell Christina his plan if he was a true ride or die. Therefore, Tom, Yana, is not a true ride or die, so Christina would not have to maintain her ride or die status after the murder and can turn him in. Absolutely love your podcast. Keep them high and tight. Piss on me, beat me, rub, rub, rub. Shelby from Canada. Um, oh, thank you, Shelby from Canada. I mean, it's kind of here's. Let's discuss for real. It's sure. kind of an interesting point. I guess we're kind of conflating though different scenarios it's a together. Big word. Well, I'm saying so. There could be the idea that I'm. Uh, I have a premeditated, premeditated, planned. Yeah. That usually would take place. Um, that would there would be like the stalking period, lying and, and wait. Yeah, so, lying and wait. Okay, so that's one scenario. There's also the scenario where I see the barista. So it's not necessarily pre-planned it's a more crime of, like a, of passion yeah now of a, now but i told you in that case 
I might help you out. Because it's a, it's a, you fucked up in the moment. Correct. And I would take mercy on your soul and I would go, all right, let's figure this shit out. Because we got kids. However, Yana, yeah. Yeah. I would probably still have to leave. Because mm. if you're capable of that kind of crime of passion with a barista, I'm going to be next or the children. So I'd help you get rid of the body and then I'd leave you. Yeah. But premeditation, I'm calling cops, 911, bro. You're done. Mm. Well. Because you're out of your fucking mind. You need to be taken off the streets. Yeah. I guess I would say it's <laughs> safe to say that you're not an FGTRTD because <laughs> the real, for those of you who have been playing this game all along and were wondering and guessing, what does it mean? We finally can tell you. It means... For girls that ride till death. And there's a very limited number of FGD RTDs out there <laughs> uh, for girls that ride till death. And here, oh. now you have your own, <laughs> should be one L here, but it's correct in the shirt. Uh, for girls that ride till death. Women's black tea. It's for women only. It's, I think, a great gift if you're a guy and you want to salute your lady for being a ride or die. Yeah. You get her. Her very own FGT RTD shirt. Now, this is a shirt for the ladies only. It's ladies only. So this yeah. is a women's cut shirt, and I'll describe it for those listeners who are not watching us on YouTube. It's got the letters FGT RTD, and what's that font called? Kind of a gothic? It is kind of gothic, yeah. Kind of rad, cholo yeah. type. Uh -huh. And then it says, for girls that ride till death, yeah. under it with a chain. It's, it's, for it's hardcore really girls. cool. Yeah, I like, I like it. It's kind of goth, and I like it. Yeah, so uh, get it for your lady, get it for yourself. It's ladies only. It's, you know, you're the ultimate FGTRTDs, you ladies that uh, <laughs> stay by your man, just because he Are you saying I'm off not, someone. I'm not an FGTRTD. Clearly though. not. Clearly not. Yeah. Um... Uh, oh, by the way, you remember this dude who was like, hey, what's cracking, what's cracking, what's cracking? And um, he wants, you know, he wants chicks to, he wants any chick of any race to come to his house. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Hey, yo, 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 what's cracking, what's cracking, what's cracking out there? Hey, listen, black, white, brown, Asian. That whole thing, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I we was hoping talking to about, forget him. <laughs> we're talking about get wet. And I was like, well, that, I mean, the way I know get wet means PCP. Uh, <laughs> Santino was saying dipping a joint in formaldehyde. Sure. Okay, so I always knew it was PCP. He said formaldehyde. Guess what it actually is for this man? What? It's water. What? He loves water. No. I swear to you. I swear Gender. to you. Gender. What the fuck? I love you all. And you know what? Water has no color. None. None but love. If you can't have love, what the fuck are you doing? Slam some water, hit that doink, and be good. Hasta la vista, baby. What? Yeah, this dude has like a pretty sizable social media following. And like he has a big Twitter following. Yeah. And get wet for him is drink a bunch of water. Um, I think he's been listening to our show. Hey, let's fucking do this together. What? What the fuck? This guy thinks he's the water champ? Look. This is fucking bullshit. You know what? We know somebody else who drinks like that. Me. No, someone else. But it's because he's he's high all day. I think he's smoking joints oh, all the time. Oh, right. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, I don't know, really know what gives you a better rush, water or a doink. I have to go with water. Hey, love you. Have a good day. Stay wet. Splash those thoughts today. Love always. I still be the baby. Yeah, he's huh. a happy dude. He's a happy dude. Uh, he's definitely style sucking me. For being water champ? Absolutely. We should see how much water this guy can really chug. But this guy Jeez. is is like super into water. Where's your water? I'm just curious. Are you hydrating today, Tom? I'm pretty dehydrated. Hey, yo, 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 yo. It's Friday. Let's get this fucking weekend started. <laughs> I'm about to do something that I don't know if the world has really ready for this. Musk, hey, uh -huh. pass that blunt. Boom, hit it up, man. Top in space. You hear me? But I'm going to do it. Okay. See? What the hell? He's all about his water. That's what I'm saying. So weird. We got to reach out to him. I guess, but I feel like he's stealing my role, my thunder. Yeah. I'm the water champ. Did you know that that's bullshit? No, I've been drinking. Guys, watch these past episodes on YouTube. 
How many times do you ever see Tom so drink? So I give you a moment in time. A moment. That's all I give you. I'm going to have Blue Band splice together how I've been drinking so much water so in you, the last few episodes. But what I'm saying is you get a little bit while you're... While we're filming this, there's not cameras rolling 24-7 on us. Oh, my God. By my bedside, how many bottles of water are there right now? I guess one. No, like four. I've actually really been somebody who <laughs> tries to get my friends to invest more. Yeah. I can't believe how little some of my friends think about it. Yeah, it is true. It, you should start thinking about it and, and kind of earlier in life. Better earlier than later. Of course. Why not start uh, now? Dude, you don't have to have a lot of money to do it. You just got to start doing it. Yeah, exactly. Hey, that looks really good on you. Thanks. You're Teddy Fresh? Yeah. Dude, uh, pink looks really good on you. Does it? Dude, real men wear pink. I know. Cameron does. You look, it looks actually really flattering on your skin tone. Well, You're pretty maybe blue there's, eyes. Maybe there's a new thing coming that I'm going to tell you about later. Okay. Hey, did I, uh, did you read that thing that, um, Bert and Ernie from Sesame Street. Did Wait, you hear do that? Do you think that like that we're I'm new here or something? <laughs> <laughs> do you think that I don't work here? I don't know. Oh, oh. Sure, Bert. Okay. I mean, I'd be happy to do that. Okay. I mean, that's what friends are for, aren't they? Okay. To put friend. their friends' noses back on, right? Right. Okay. Sure. Put okay. my nose back on. Lean down, Aww. Bert. Okay. Lean down. Right. Oh. Oh, right there. How's that? Oh. Bert? Ernie. <laughs> Oh, so I cute. don't think that's quite right. Hey, look at that. Look at that, Bert. Well, tell the folks what uh, actually happened this past week. So it, it came to be, one of the writers, I believe, of Sesame Street said that Bert and Ernie are, in fact, a gay couple. And mm -hmm. that, yes, everybody's suspicions for years that they were gay. Well, he said that uh, he wrote on the show for years. Yeah. And he said that he always based writing them on his own relationship with his partner. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah, babe. so That's he's like, I, I used to always think, he goes, I just thought of them the way I thought of myself and my partner. Aww. And then Sesame Street came out and was like, no. Yeah. <laughs> they were like, no, it's not. Yeah. They were like, they're just friends. Yeah. But I don't know, this is the guy who, he's he obviously is saying... As somebody who was writing week to week on this show, yeah, that's how I envisioned. That's them. how he wrote for them. Yeah. So and so unconsciously or whatever they are gay, um, but if you see I mean, Bert and Ernie, they sleep in the same room but in separate beds, like a nineteen fifties couple, yeah, like Lucy and Ricky, like they're kind of like a chaste gay couple. It's kind of cute. Here's uh some more super cute clips. Let me know if you think this is gay. <laughs> hey Ernie, oh hi Bert. Wait a minute, Ernie. You are not going to cut my hair. No, oh, hey, now, Ernie, this, this come on, are, are you sure you know what you're Don't doing, Don't worry about it, Bert. I know what sure? I'm Clippity clip, clippity clip, clip, clip. It's just Ernie, a haircut. It'll take a month for my hair to grow oh. back, Ernie. A whole month? A whole month. What are you going to do about it? Uh, Bert, I have, just, I have just a thing for you. Just a second. Oh, uh -oh. my hair. What's he going to do? Here you go, Bert. What is that, a book? Mm -hmm. A book won't make my hair grow faster. No, but it'll give you something to do while you're waiting. <laughs> Hmm. Cute. Yeah, that didn't feel gay. Not at all. I don't. These aren't gay examples at all. I, I don't know why they're in here. Oh, wow. <laughs> what about this one? Mm. They're in bed. Boy, am I thirsty. That's gay. Okay. Am I thirsty? Am uh, I thirsty? Oh, oh. oh. Ernie. There Ernie, you if you're so thirsty, why don't you just get up and get yourself a glass of water, huh? Mm -hmm. well, well, because, Bert, I'm so tired. No. The only thing I am more than tired is... Horny. Thirsty. Oh. oh. And I am thirsty. Uh-huh. Oh, why did it taste good? Gee, but am I thirsty? Give me that bowl. Come on. Am I thirsty? Yes, sir. Am I oh. thirsty? It's so cute. Okay. I do love them so much. I, you don't see Bernie that much these no, days you don't. on Sesame Street. You don't really see them that much. Because we watch it. Thank you, sir. And uh, our kid likes Super Grover 2.0. Yeah. yeah. They're cute. That's good. They're adorable. I mean, these these uh, examples did not lead me to think that there was anything gay. No, I feel like, okay, so the, there's a Sesame Street book we have, and they, they do shout outs to them being gay, I think. Like, for instance, there's like a panel we open, mm -hmm. and it's like Bert and Ernie in the closet, Bert and Ernie yeah, out of the closet. Yeah, that was the best one. That is the, that's yeah. the funniest. I mean, dude, they have to know that that's a nod to of obviously course. them being gay. It's for the parents, I think, right? Yeah, and there's, it's always in the closet, like, Ernie's clothes are in the closet. Bert's in the closet. They do it all the time. Yeah, mm. I, I see. I maybe I'm reading into it, but oh, um, 
did you see that the remember we we, we showcased those guys that had the uh that, that put up the picture at McDonald's? Yes. Uh McDonald's found out yes. and paid them. I read that. They gave them twenty five thousand dollars. Yeah. I guess as advertising fees. They thought it was a good thing. Yeah. That's super cool. Yeah, it's um it's pretty cool. They uh they I, I think they went on Ellen and Ellen So for those of you who don't remember, yeah. we featured we, we showed the clip uh, these Asian kids noticed that there were no portrayals of Asian people happily eating McDonald's at their food, local McDonald's. At their local yeah. one. So they took their own photos and they put it on a poster that looked identical to the other ones that McDonald's had. And they just slipped it in there and they made a video they put on YouTube and McDonald's didn't notice for like weeks and weeks until it went viral. Hilarious. And so now they found out and they gave these kids 25 grand, which is awesome. That's a good move on their part. Do you want to see this uh, crybaby? Yeah. Complaining about, watch. Oh, here, hold on. Hold on. I was flying from the East Coast to the West Coast. And as going back to my seat, uh, I passed by a young man who was looking at porn on his phone. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Time to cry. I went to a local university for college. Now, there is this thing that we started doing where we would go to a like an adult store and pick out like the cheesiest porn film, take it back to the dorm, and it was like a like a judging competition. Okay. Okay. So yeah. I eat the ass and pussy all the yeah, time. We, I got nothing. We used to do that too in college. My yeah. friends and I would watch like butt sex porn, like yeah. gay dudes and laugh and stuff. We can only watch that? it for like five minutes before you're thoroughly grossed out. I mean, should we have a career off of what she's talking about? No, right I now? know. What, what's the problem? I'm, I I honestly don't know what the problem is. Because she's right like, now. it's so wrong. Porn? Doing what she did, judging the, these people doing it, I think, watching oh, it. Oh, well, now. It was so wrong, and I knew it, and what? I didn't stop watching it Good or thing. being a part of that group <laughs> because <laughs> I didn't want to be othered. I didn't. She's Othered. like, it's like there's Bibles <laughs> and crosses all around her. Oh. I think she had something traumatic happen. Oh, you know? sure. Different. I look back Bible, and I think if cross, only Jesus. your voice was stronger, if only you oh. could have said something. What would you have said to them? To you guys want to all fuck right now? Wait, to the, to the guy on the plane watching porn. No, no. She's talking about in college when they rented the video. What the fuck is the problem here? I take that into, you know, the, the situation of the young man on the flight because even, what, 36,000 feet in the air, he couldn't get away from these images. That's an addiction. <laughs> oh, oh I don't know. I, oh I don't boy. think it's an addiction so much as poor poor manners. You, yeah. know, you don't watch porn on a plane. Yeah, that's, that, that that's is, the problem here. That is poor manners. That is... I, you know, it's it's just human humans have needs, and masturbation is one of those needs, right? It's neither here nor there. Yeah, it's, you know, whatever, man. This She's is... crybabying about that fucking nonsense. I know. You like to fuck me in my big black ass? <laughs> All of these things are just like rushing over me. Like, did I really see what I thought I saw? I'd, I sat down and I just started praying. Like, oh, God, boy. what do I do? There we go. <laughs> Should I even do anything? You oh, know, boy. like, is this my responsibility? Oh, boy. You fucking short little fucking faggot. <laughs> <laughs> man. <laughs> Can I tell you the the big reason I'm not into religion is this nonsense. Like this is the worst. Why does sex have to be demonized? Like it, I don't understand. It's the worst. I yeah. Why? I so push back on this shit so hard now it's because so I was stupid. raised in this kind of culture that I cannot help but laugh and mock <laughs> this kind of nonsense. I mean, and as I was praying, I really began to feel protective oh. over him. Do Over the know kid who jerking you off? Are. You are God's beloved and most cherished son. Because I will have you suck this dick. <laughs> <laughs> do you, but do you think God is like looking down at the masturbators and keeping a list of I who's mean, of who's fucking who? Of course. The wrong way. Of course he is. <laughs> and as he was coming off the plane, he looked like he was lost. And so I took that as my opportunity. No. I was like, hey, are you lost? Are you looking for baggage claim? And he said, no, I'm going on to another flight. I said, oh, okay. Hey, listen, I have something to give you. And no. I want you to take my card. Oh, and my he God. took it and kind of just looked at me inquisitively and just looked at my card. And I said, I, there's some websites and some things on there that 
I really think would be beneficial to you. Oh my and, God. You, know, you don't have to look at it now. You can put it in your backpack, but at some point it'd be great if you look at it. And I, I just want you to know that you are worth so much more. Oh my God. Honey, I can stick my fucking tongue straight up your fucking ass <laughs> like a spoon. Yeah. Who the fuck are you to judge this guy jerking it on a plane? Well, that's the thing is that God. there's always this like this uh, line that comes out of these people about ju- only God can judge. and Yeah, but then they're judging. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's, it's so hypocritical. It's always like only leave judgment to God. But by the way, let me ruin your f- flight your today. Your fucking day. Yeah, they're horrible. God, is there anything worse than getting one of those fucking pamphlets stuck in your you know, your front yard somewhere in your door. Hey, they, they came yesterday. No, I know. They always come. The yesterday, I was trying to take a fucking nap. Yeah. And I heard, uh, hey, I, I want to discuss this prayer. And I was oh, like, oh, no. Okay. Get the fuck yeah. out of here with your prayers. No. Nah, yeah. yeah, I don't, I, listen, on all the problems, do you think God's got time to worry about who's touching themselves? I don't know. I mean, he's, he definitely has a busy schedule. Yeah, there's just you know, so many things. Think about how, how much his eyes probably dart when he's like, like uh, his secretary's <laughs> like, we got to cover uh, masturbators right now. And he's oh, yeah, just he's like, like what? oh, <laughs> shit, it's going on everywhere. And they're like, yeah, and I'm keeping records of everyone so you can punish them later. Ah, here we go. What about those Making homosexuals? <laughs> yeah, oh, they're so bad. There's so many, too. Uh, and what about all the people, the premarital fuckers, too? Jeez, uh, yeah, another full time gig for God. Man, I mean, God just has nothing but just time to yell at these. <laughs> All people. these nuts busting yeah. everywhere, and God's got to worry about every jizz, uh, every piece of jizz. It's a, it's a problem. It's a busy world. Where's the cum? <laughs> you gotta wonder where the cum is. Um, That's so weird. Do you see this? Uh, God this... doesn't care about cum. No, I don't think he does. Do you think? I think I read a book titled <laughs> "God Doesn't Care About Cum" once. <laughs> I don't think he's into it. You don't think so? He's not interested in where how you come. I don't think so. No, I don't think so either. Or what you eat. That one I never understood either. God is like, pork is terrible. <laughs> I hate pork. If you love me, you would never eat bacon. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Better do fish on Fridays, guys. Well, I like if you actually are, take the time to look up the reasons why certain cultures don't eat certain foods. Yeah. It's always tied to like the time like, when food couldn't be preserved. Right, or, yeah, you know? no refrigeration yeah, yeah. and stuff and like, like that. They're like, oh, that's why. And then they're like, yeah, it's, you know, a thousand years have gone by, but we're just going to stick to it, you know? <laughs> what? Why? Because yeah. there's a book? Okay. Yeah, I get, and isn't it interesting too, like with homosexuality, that- uh, Feels so good. What were you going to say? Feels so, yeah. The, the Greeks- were the biggest butt fuckers and kid fuckers. They love to fuck. They loved, they fuck yeah. everybody. And, and, you know, the Christians came along and were like, no. But, they, you know, they've been butt fucking for centuries, people. Yeah. And yeah. now you're going to be like, it's wrong? Okay. No, it's Humans not Humans have been wrong. butt fucking fucking kids forever. We've been doing it forever. I have cum all over my face. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the kid fucking I don't condone, but. No, you shouldn't. The butt fucking, who cares? I think we finally, I think it actually took the last 25 years and people are kind of like, all right, so butt fucking's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's been a problem for hundred centuries, but a now problem. they're like, they're like, okay. You guys can butt fuck. You guys can butt fuck. It was a real kiss. It was a real kiss. <laughs> I was butt fucking my mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you said that. Here's a real kiss. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> it was a real kiss. It's just like the gays. The, the gays, like the they fuck in the butt too. Butt fuckers. Uh, you see this guy um, that passed out, had an overdose, no. what they tried to do for him on the street? No. This is ridiculous. Oh dear. He doesn't need milk, dude. He's fucking overdosing. So this dude is OD'd on the side of the on the sidewalk, and this guy's pouring milk. Oh dear! And people are like, he doesn't need milk. He needs a goddamn ambulance. You know, he's like, he's wait, what are yeah. you what are you doing? But he needs ambulance. He needs ambulance right now. Yo, he's fucking overdosing, dude. Oh my god. Who's overdosing? I got the kit. I got the kit. I called 911. I called 911. What's this guy getting? Tissue? What's that? No, Yo, give him a, get, let him get some time to breathe. It takes a minute to get out. He's like, give him some time. Give him some time. Oh, the milk worked. I don't know. He's coming to it. He don't need milk, dude. What the fuck, dog? 
Yo, 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 he just saved your fucking... <gasps> Dude, what the fuck? He just fucking saved your life! You're a fucking... Ungrateful. I don't know, that felt kind of contrived to me. Oh, that guy looks like he did OD. They all look like shit, but I think yeah. I still think it was a bit. Really? Now that I watch it, yeah. Oh, fuck. I saw the little... That's too bad. ...pre-rundown here. I think it's... I think it's... Okay. It was choreographed. You look so cute in that pink beanie. I'm all about the pink hat life. Okay, looks yeah. good. Um, Do you think orange is my new color? Orange is the new pink. I know. Yeah. No, it does look good, actually. Your whole gear looks fresh today. Teddy fresh, dude. Yeah, looks real fresh. Okay. Um, our guests will be here shortly. Do you want to take a, a quick break? Let's get a goddamn snack. All right, and we'll be right back with... <laughs> Two guests. Ooh, so nasty. Nasty. All right, we're back. And um, look, we did what you said. We were covered in it. You said this was an even exchange. So, <laughs> what? You told me <laughs> put the fucking gear on. <laughs> and so here we did it. All right. Tom um, is, they're all in on the Teddy Fresh. Of course, this is our brand. Actually, all I said, <laughs> listen, yeah, yeah. if you don't. Know, Go head to toe over the top in a Teddy Fresh. <laughs> I'm not coming on the show. Hey, boy, it's all I'm wearing from now on. It's so yeah. comfortable. It is super comfortable. And I comfortable. love the colors. I never wear color on the show. I'm always wearing black. So this is very Me exciting. You look good, honestly. You guys I think look the, so cool yeah, you with guys, it. Yeah. And Hello. the over the shoulder style like the young black kids are doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, white kids are doing it. Are they? Well, that's what happens. They do it first, and then we go, hey, yeah. that looks good. I know that's a really natural look for you, and I think I'm going to be seeing you in a lot of photos. A lot shoots of with photos. That. Yeah. Like, what's up, man? Um, no, I actually love your gear. I told you that when I first met you guys. Thank you for coming over. Um, Thank you guys for Thank inviting you. us. Aww, I was teased because I think after I did your podcast, and I talked about it on this one, I said I was with... Uh, Etha, <laughs> I, I didn't say Ethan, hmm. and a lot of people oh, make boy. fun of me. Etha, Etha. Like I think I was thinking of Hila, and then I stopped saying it. You know what I mean? I confused the two names. Mm -hmm. You didn't think yeah. my name was Etha. I didn't think it was Etha. It just came out that way. I think way. it came out that way because <laughs> nobody's named Etha. It's kind no. of like that's a not a name. combination of no. the two. I combined yeah. the two. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's I, cute. That's... I just wanted to come out and say that I know your name is Ethan. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying that because I was a lot of people have been talking about that. Yeah. The whole Etha thing. And you're worked up about it. A lot of yeah. people have been, yeah, so yeah. thank you for clarifying So that. just everybody knows it's Etha with an N and Ela. Yeah. Ela, I've been saying it with a hard H. I you you can say it both no, ways. No one knows dork. how to say it. It's fine. No, you're not a well, dork. You tell me. It's Ela. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh my God. Dog, oh. dog is oh. dying. Oh. All right, dog Bitsy's jumping all over the okay. mic cord. Uh, so Ela's name... Ila. It's like simple, Ila. but also the hardest thing to say in the world for an American. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like when I first met her in Israel, it was just like, Ila? Like you, like Ila. she puts a little twist on it, like Ila. Ila. And I'm like, oh my God, how do I say that? But then when you realize it's just H-I-L-A, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, it's just Ila. It's a pretty name. <laughs> it's a pretty name. Can I tell you, I'm so excited to meet another couple in the comedy podcasting mm. world. And you guys right. like each other. You love each other. Most days. I was telling Ethan that it's really inspiring to see you guys because you oh, both, stop it. you both have like your own career and kids and dogs, <laughs> and, <laughs> so much. and you're you're normal. You're like cool people. Oh, now you, know. you guys are amazing. <laughs> no, you no, guys are. You We're, guys. There's two married news teams in the tri-state area. <laughs> I know. <laughs> what happens now? <laughs> no, you guys are seriously amazing. Like, yeah, no. I love I love everything about you guys. Do no. you know what I, I love most about you guys? Um, is your love of brown talk? <laughs> That's brown true. town. That is yes. all. That is all him. It's not well, you. I mean, I participate. I have no problem with it. Yeah, he, but he, not, he brought it into the table. Yeah. <laughs> the thing, is, what I love about brown town mm -hmm. is why I like to visit there so frequently. Sure. Is that um, it's this secret world, uh, not so secret in our lives, but in most people's lives. Yeah, people have their own techniques. They come from mm -hmm. the front come from the back yeah. they come from the side yeah. they use bidets they have baby wipes there's a whole wealth of knowledge that we as a society are not building upon we write books mm. about science about math about psychology 
mm-hmm. hobbies mm-hmm. of all sorts and sizes, but sure. there's no collective knowledge about brown. And I oh. think that some people do it wrong. Have you some been people... talking to my dad? Yeah. This is <laughs> verbatim. His Has he <laughs> given this to you? Yes. <laughs> well, you run in your family. I That's know. special. I know, but he's he's always like, well, people don't talk about it, so, buddy. <laughs> it is it secret. More. It shouldn't be. It's funny, too. But it's se- it, it is, is funny. funny. You know, they. they I, I like to say the first time I ever got fingers was when my fingers slipped through the toilet paper. Yeah. <laughs> so it goes all the way back to the first time I fingered my own asshole. That's true. <laughs> and here's the thing. It, it, it's like, look, everybody farts. Yeah. Everybody mm-hmm. makes dookie. Right. And people feel weird about it, but it happens. And the truth is, it is something that you should kind of talk about more. And it is funny. It is funny to say that know that all of us, no matter what you look like, make big brown yes. nasty. And it's messes. terrible. And it's smelly. And it's yeah. awful. Well, and, and it hurts sometimes. You need yeah. to wipe down. That's yeah. my dad. Oh. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Love it. I was telling him that one time. I was like, uh, "Keep wiping." You know, he's keep wiping. And what's going on? He's like, "You need to wipe down, buddy, because you're wiping." Oh, wipe up. He was telling me that I'm wiping up too much. Wipe down. Don't don't, don't go oh. in as much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, don't ask too many questions. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, that's right. You know, there's that, <laughs> that great line from uh, Parks and Recreation where he says, "It's like wiping a marker." Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's is, like, so great. true. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like a it's like it's called the butt stamp. Or the never-ending wipe, we call it that. Mm-hmm. Or leaky mm-hmm. butt. Sometimes. God, just, I hate leaky butt. I have a problem because I cannot. I can't leave it. I need to run the marker dry. I'm not the kind of guy that it's like, hey, it's just one of those days. So I got to get in there. I'm scooping. I'm rubbing. I'm doing whatever it takes. Yes. Because, and frankly, I don't understand these anecdotes you hear about these guys that have shit stains on their underwear. Right. I mean, that's... That's and by not the way, okay. those people it's are nasty. unacceptable, man. <laughs> they really are. Absolutely. The guys, the person's like, well, like uh, n- n- that's, that's enough for today. That's yeah. right. I never thought of well, it that way. Well, you could always, uh, I'll get home and I'll wash them. But you got shit. In you your have shoes? literal shit in your underwear. What the oh. fuck? I won't even scratch yeah. my a- like my asshole. <laughs> if I have an itchy asshole, I'll do it over the underwear. Ri- I'll, I'll, I'll do I'm it so over. Paranoid. And never I'm so paranoid never about direct. a real God. itchy asshole having chocolate on there that I will go to a bathroom and get toilet paper. To scratch my asshole. Well, if my a- <laughs> okay, well, if my asshole is ever that itchy, yeah, yeah, I'll assume that maybe I didn't wipe enough. That's my first assumption. That's why I'll go get toilet paper and see what's going on. <laughs> and to, there's usually a little residue, but nothing too bad. Yeah. Wait, you guys got me thinking about it. Cause you're right. When it's the marker scenario, like who's that lazy person that's like, I'm good, whatever, whatever happens today. Some guy that's, that's crazy. It's I think insane. It's the people it's insane. also don't look at the. They don't look at the paper. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> good point. But I look. People are. Just, oh, of course. They're every time. I look every every time. time. People go. <laughs> I look on the look. first one. It's like you know there's shit there. I look. <laughs> I always a look lot. I look at the paper every time. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't look at the bowl, you see. I, I never look at the bowl. I Why not? Right. You got to see it. Oh, I already yeah. know. I know it's like, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. I'm like, I'm not looking at Aren't that. Aren't you interested? <laughs> not really. I There's mean. a lot of information about <laughs> yes. what's going on. There. I know. I feel like Thank I can you. feel it, though. I can feel the information. Yeah. I know no, it you're right. so you're well. Right. You're, you're, right. Right. you're right. I really do. Uh, you know, I wonder, there's just so much. There's just so much to talk about. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, like women, they all talk about their periods. Yeah. They share information, techniques, but we all shit. All of us. All of us shit. That's this true. isn't, you know what I'm saying? And all so, genders, all binaries. Right. There's no argument about, um, oh, I'm not, I don't identify as this gender. You still shit. You still shit. We're not debating that. <laughs> right. So I just, I don't understand the, the lack of dialogue about it. So it's, what do true. blind people do? Oh, we've talked talked about that on the show. Do they smell it? (laughs) No, what was the answer? No, they they actually, somebody actually answered us. Right, it's like a a sense. Like they they sense it, right? Mm. They have that daredevil level of... Yeah. They go... (laughs) They can feel how squishy the toilet paper feels. Mm. (laughs) They get a sense for it. Yeah, Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, they they sense the resistance of the paper, how it moves. That's Mm. not accurate. It's of course, well, it's not. It they wa- they're, uh, blind people are walking around with shitty assholes, but Definitely. that's fine. They get a pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They get a pass. <laughs> but what is that? Is there a uh, feedback from a phone? a phone? I've got. Oh. Should we turn it all the way? See, there you go. I'm that's why you were. Though, the... Should I move it away, maybe? Maybe. I'll throw yeah. it Here's my worry for, for you. So, 
Okay. You're telling me that you when you have a marker kind of day, mm-hmm. you don't have you guys don't have bidets yet? No. Yeah, no. So what are you doing Baby right wipes. now? Baby wipes. Baby wipes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Baby. But we were talking about That's jun- junior varsity. Bidets. <laughs> well, it's a uh, it's JB well, you I mean you're thinking about making the leap though, right? Yes. <laughs> I have some I have some issues with the bidet. Okay. okay. I was in Canada recently and to my great surprise, they had these wonderful Japanese toilets. Which city? This was Montreal. in Quebec. Okay. Am I Montreal? Why did I say? Oh, that's the it's state. In, so it's yeah. A, yeah in Montreal, and they had the whole thing with the heated seat and the water. It squirts right at your asshole, and there's all the different pressure settings. Mm. It's got the whole. It's got the whole works. It even speaking my language. Yeah, it, keep it going. It has a front squirt, which I was like, yeah. oh, what the fuck is that? And I, I squirted yeah. my taint. Yeah. yeah, feels good. That was interesting. I was just kind of like moving all over the place. Is that? I was like, oh shit, the vagina's kind of there. Not that. Right up. It's not that far from the asshole no. because it's basically like <laughs> just a very the front yeah. one was very close to the back one. Right. Well, see, and that's why wiping properly is so important. Mm-hmm. Right. And they tell you you can't yeah. go back to front, right. front to back. Sure. It's, it is. It's very, uh, you know. So is it not an issue tender. that if you're squirting, you're gonna splash some shit water? The problem I had with it was that I was squirting and I was squirting and water was. Running down my balls, yeah, like a lot. I never thought of that. I mean, every time. Yeah, but the other thing. How do you avoid that? If you keep that water running, eventually it's just beautiful, clean water. (laughs) So I think you might have some brown splatter, but that water is going to keep. You hearing this? Yeah, yeah. He's getting shit on his balls. Yeah, Yeah. but it's hello. What's new? I mean, it's Monday. (laughs) There's shit everywhere. There's hair everywhere. He's asked me to lick his scrum, and I won't do it because of that. That's the hot. The it's kind of just that general area. I feel like she mm. won't do the taint. It. Yeah, taint. Anna's b hole. B hole. All of it. She won't do it. He you, like, you ask. I'm yeah. not. I'm not you into it. Too. No way. She's a good girl. <laughs> I would never. I would. Nasty girls eat scrum. <laughs> the thing is, my asshole. The thing is, like, if you're. <sighs> You nasty as hell, Thompson. Anyways, <laughs> Ethan and I were ta- Etha and I were talking. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, my asshole's not was never meant to be licked or anything yeah. like that. Why oh, do I don't say think that? mine was either. <laughs> well, <laughs> mine is a warning zone. I, disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I have a feeling we. I mean, looking at you, I think we have the same <laughs> <laughs> similar issues. Yeah. No. Hair, is it hairy and hot? Because his butthole's hairy and hot. My butt it always ain't cold. It, <laughs> <laughs> my butt always has heat coming off of it. I yeah, could be, it could be subarctic weather, and like put your hand. You'd be like, okay, well, I can yeah. keep my, my hands up around this guy's asshole. <laughs> it's just always hot. Why are you such an oven? I don't know. <laughs> that ass oven. I know. Yeah. It's, just, it's, it's just like Bum a hole. welcoming for a tongue. It's <laughs> like who's got a tongue out there? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Mm. It's saying, put your mouth down here, lady. It's nice and warm. Uh, yeah. Have you seen his beehole? Uh, How long have you two been together now? No, no I haven't. I haven't. What's the last time I, s- <laughs> I haven't seen my own asshole since I was like 13. <laughs> and I was like, what does my asshole look like? It doesn't look nice. Well, you look once and you're like, that. Got I it. don't need to do that again. Yeah, I feel yeah, like that's nice. terrible. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I remember I spread my cheeks to a friend in middle school. Really? What was the context? Uh, it was like it was just like sleepover stuff, and I just spread my cheeks to him. Right. And he goes, Jesus. <laughs> And uh, his name was Peter, and he goes, "You shit hair." <laughs> you shit yeah, hair. and I was like, "That's I was, amazing." And, like, and I wasn't as hairy then, so right. it was like, "Did he, you like feel like you understood something new about yourself in that moment?" The way he said it, I knew that it was like not something to show a girl, right? You know, because Keep that. he was like, "Well, why didn't uh, that stop you? You've been showing me your asshole for fourteen years." That's different. That's love. Oh yeah, that's God. a love ass. Like, how do you show Dude. it, dude? Will you show them one day? Will you show them? <laughs> what? Whoa. No, like, he does this. Okay, so we'll be, like, <laughs> playing. show them one day? No, the, the, okay, so we'll be playing around, like, just in the, like, in the room, whatever. And he does this, like, slutty stripper girl move mm-hmm. where he turns, he turns his back to me. And then he, like, bends over and then he slaps his ass and then he, like, shimmies his hands down the back of his legs. And yeah. sometimes. It's, it's pretty hot. Yeah. Sometimes he'll My pull his pants is down. moving a little bit. <laughs> I wanted to offer you guys, and but, this is, and then you see his asshole. Yeah, and sometimes because I didn't get to the. Sometimes he'll pull his pants down, and then he'll spread he his butt. Because yeah. as I run my hands so down the gross. back of my legs, I'll pull my shorts with it. Like, here's a little treat for you. Right, right. And then, yeah, and I had, then I'll just show everything. Yeah. Does that do anything for you? No, it's <laughs> disgusting. Well, no. Yeah. 
I wouldn't don't get ideas. He doesn't. He's not. I have a feeling that Ethan's not as gross with you as Tom is with me. Is, uh, am I am I right? Do you guys okay? Okay, let me ask you this: Do you poop with the doors open, or are we closed door family? It happens when it, the door is open sometimes. It's I'm not gonna go full door open, but like crack a jar. See, that's one that we don't do. She, that's our boundary. Yeah. Mm. Really? We you talk about yeah. it here, but door closed. Door closed. Because huh. just this morning, Ela clogged the fucking toilet in the room we exercised. <laughs> like literally, clo- like her shit was so massive. It was. Wow. She clo- I mean, I don't clog toilets for great. I mean, and so that was know. just we just exercised next to Ela's uh, shitty clogged toilet. <laughs> wow. Kind of a reality. But what are you gonna do to fix that? Are you gonna call it somebody? Actually, Ethan told me that it was fixed. Well, I well Ela's like we gotta get it. We gotta get a plunger and I was like just give it a minute and she leaves the room and then you hear inevitably that the earth the earth took it back wow yeah lucky then yeah, yeah. so is he not as gross with you as Tom is with me would you say or I, I think so probably well, yeah. sounds like I walk around naked and I feel like that's gross enough <laughs> I see myself in the mirror and I'm like, fuck. Isn't that see, the I can worst? Only do, I can only do it for a moment. I'm Ugh. so ashamed of my, I can only like <laughs> flash it and be like, I gotta no, cover this so, up. Right. Yeah. And I try to. Ethan, I try. Ethan will make himself look grosser than he needs to. Like, right. you know, bend and like, <laughs> show me the fold. Well, like, you are, you ever do this like, uh, you this fat here when yeah. you bend over and when you're naked and you see it like resting on oh, your leg, it's, the worst. it's like an it's like an appendage. Yeah, yeah. and it restricts like, your breathing. Whoa. It just restricts your breathing. As yeah, you, if you sit forward, you're like, oh, why can't I breathe as well? <laughs> yeah, like, oh, because my stomach, well, you know, is pressing up on my lungs. The last time I went on a serious diet was mm. it was I had this moment I was tying my shoe and I couldn't breathe. Oh my god! Yeah, and I was like, you were okay. winded. I, no, I was just... not. I, it's not that I was exhausted. I there was right. so much pressure on my lungs, I couldn't wow. literally breathe. Yeah. And that was like warning signs. Yeah, that's when I lost like you know, fifteen pounds. Oh, how'd you do it? What was your diet? I just didn't eat. Yeah, yeah. that's the only way to that's lose weight. Do it. Yeah, you that's know my favorite <laughs> is when I I leap up the stairs and I you know when you're jumping up and you can feel your fat tire <laughs> mm-hmm. at the same time. That's kind of special too. <laughs> yeah, that is special. I agree. You like. But she Elis, have that she, yeah, she's right? not part of this conversation. <laughs> no, right? The offer I was going to make you guys, the by the way, and this is like, I'm hooking you up. Yeah. Really? If you want me to model for the Teddy Fresh line. Mm-hmm. You are. <laughs> I'm just going to take stills from this whole. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm actually a really good model. Really? So, yeah, yeah. Can I get an asshole shot? <laughs> I'll, show you. I'll give you an asshole shot. I can With do, the fanny pack over do you have your panties? Pa- Teddy Fresh I, panties? I know how to do, I like, do fierce want. looks. Like, do you want to see fierce? Absolutely. I'm, I'm like, fierce. I, I have like a patented head head twist. Ready? Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> mm. Right? Damn. Oh. Have you seen Tyra do you Banks do, do her walk? Oh, sorry. That's so amazing. Uh, have you seen her okay, on Instagram? Uh, Tyra is like, ugh, I love, she's so insane and I find her hilarious. <laughs> I know, <laughs> have so you great. seen the Vaseline clip? No. Oh, oh type, really? Can, do, do, we, do we watch stuff on oh, this? Oh, yeah, right? yeah uh-huh. sure, sure. Oh, wait, did she put on her tea? Nope. No. Oh, my no. gosh. You'll never so find. intrigued. So this clip. You let will me never s- guess. <laughs> so let me set this up and just tell you that this is not a parody. Okay. Okay? This is honest to God real. Time. So type, just on YouTube, Tyra mm-hmm. Banks uh, Vaseline. Vaseline giveaway. I see it. Yeah. I see it. Just pull this up. Yeah, bop okay. it up there. It's short and it's sweet, and it's one of my favorite clips on the okay. internet. Okay, let's let's check this out. Let's it's see. crazy shit, dude. All right, <clears throat> here we go. I'm about to reveal my biggest beauty secret ever. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's my eye and anything cream, meaning eye and anything. All right, and during the break, we had some really hunky boys that brought out these very special boxes to our studio audience. And inside the boxes is my super duper no fell skin saving eye and anything cream. (laughs) (laughs) So So on the count of three, I want you to all open them together. Are you ready? Drum roll, please. So weird. (laughs) One, two. What is it? What are they all freaking out about? Is it a car? Or is it a travel size bottle of Vaseline? Oh my god. 
<laughs> why is she? Why is she excited? Why is anyone is she, excited? Is she, I don't know. Is she? Why are they like mocking out? Oprah? How Oprah would do that? I mean, she feels mocked. like it. It's not a joke. I swear to God. It's like it's some premium Vaseline. She's it's like got diamonds jumping. on the box. She's, it's what got rhinestones. Rhinestones. She continues on. She has like a. She starts like seizuring in the. But I love her. And so then, crazy. Yeah, she, well, we've been following her. I I follow her on Instagram, and she's I guess on America's Got Talent right now. She's hosting or something. Mm. And yeah. <laughs> and like her whole talent is walking, mm-hmm. which I guess it's like a you know models. That's yeah. a fucking talent, dude. Mm-hmm. But she's like nobody walks like me. I'm fierce. So Tom and I've been practicing our fierce model walk. Yeah, it's it's a it's a huge deal and ay ay ay. It's uh She's it's like, really I'm fair. I mean, I'm super I know it fair. from the next top model or did you guys ever yeah, watch that? Yeah, of course. It's the best show ever. But she uh I'm fair. The, the Well, this is classic. Uh, oh, a little kip there like, hey. It's the foot in front of the foot yeah, you like, got to do. Yeah, you're prancing like yeah. a pony. But I feel like models don't do this th- today. I don't. Right. Know. It was like I feel yesterday. Like today it's like cheesy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, now that was how to. God, when I was a, when I was like, fashion. when I first started going through puberty, she was like popular. <laughs> mm-hmm. Fuck, she, she had was it going your jam. On. She had it, yeah. You you rubbed a few out to her, <laughs> bro. Yeah. Bro, I filled, I squirted in many cups. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. By the way, for context, <laughs> yeah. I don't actually collect my semen. I'm just yeah. making a joke about yeah. testing my semen for sure to get Ela pregnant, but. <laughs> Now she's just a bit of a. I mean, she still looks good. She, she looks, looks great. great. She's been around forever. Looks so great. Those uh, those supermodels that we grew up with, they basically all look amazing still. Oh, yeah. That's true. They're just genetic yeah. phenoms, you mm. know. Christy Brink. You know what it is? Kathy Ireland, Cindy Crawford, Turlington. Cocaine. You know what it is? Vaseline. It's the fucking Vaseline. <laughs> <laughs> it's that fucking. It is! <laughs> Where do I get that shit? So fucking That's weird. her beauty secret. That was so bizarre. Yeah. Ela's got weird. a best friend here. That's FIFO. His mouth smells hey, really bad. Sorry. That stinky breath. He's an old dude. Hey, buddy. His mouth stinks so bad. Um, <laughs> so Poor Germany God. has this program, you know, where uh, disabled people can um, legally find someone to help make them come. Yeah. And this, cool. Uh, I think oh, the God. state even They're sponsors They're so it. ahead of the game. I know, right? <laughs> like, Does that include me? Oh, my uh, God. Whoa. Sexual this- assistant. Dude, that. Can I say? Yeah. Uh, Let's enjoy. Let's say. I actually want. I want to enjoy this video. Okay. Je tím, že sexuální asistence má smysl, protože sexuální energie je naše nejsilnější energie, kterou máme v těle. Sexual energy is one that we all have of us. Sexual energy means we surely realize the reason why sexual assistance is so necessary. I'm reading mm. because I didn't realize this is all in Alfred Einstein. <laughs> well, why not just get a prostitute, though? I guess this, I think That's they are they are like state sponsored mm. prostitutes for, specifically for the disabled. Holzens. <sighs> That's yeah. wow. that honestly is a tender, beautiful thing. It is yeah. for yeah. a state for an actual government organization. Like, be like these guys. They need someone to touch their dick. Yeah. as much as any any of us. More yeah. maybe. Sure. I mean, I might try to be disabled if she's the one. I have she the one that's. She's gonna touch What if one of these? What if he's like, "Will you lick my asshole?" <laughs> <laughs> Eat my scrum. She's like, "I don't even lick my husband's asshole." <laughs> I mean, she's he's not like, the I chick, can't though. come. That's what I was like. like. I can't come. I can't come unless you lick my asshole. <laughs> she's not the chick that comes to your house. No way, dude. Uh, I don't know. She's looking at me like she comes to the house. <laughs> yep. That's the lady. Dude, that guy's having the time of his life. Yeah, he loves it. Yeah. So, for those of you just listening, it's like... Wait, who's the handicap there? What do you mean? Oh, right. Well, there was like... I just didn't know who was who oh, was oh. getting the benefit. Oh, oh, right. It's the guy. It's, it's the, the guy. dude. The guy's getting the benefit? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd yeah. fuck that guy. <laughs> What's wrong with him? I don't know. His legs, his legs yeah. He's oh, like, I'm having like a weird thing where I d- it looks like her legs. Yeah. No. It doesn't... Yeah, the photograph is kind of She's kneeled weird. on the floor, though. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Okay. You see her legs? Yeah. Going on the side there. Mm. I mean, I guess I like, I don't know that the state should sponsor it, but it is. Well, they're basically telling their citizens you need to come. <laughs> they're, they're telling them. Not. Don't keep it all in. Not too handicapped to come. Yeah, you're not I guess too dumb to come. What they're, what they're, <laughs> it's like a, it's a, it's sex welfare. Yeah. It yes, it is. Yeah. How progressive, dude. That yeah. is progressive as it gets. Yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah, it's pretty great. 
I'll show you. Um, oh, you want this guy to make him come, what? though? He's creepy. Wait, what's the lo- who's coming right now? <laughs> <laughs> That's just a care. Let's see. I don't want that guy to make me come. <laughs> yeah, carefully screened. I, you better make them How carefully screened. And trained. Yeah. They're this trained guy. to provide. This guy, it's just a blonde guy in the street. I mean, let's cut to the chase. Okay, He's cute, though. He get laid on his own. Let's see. I don't think that being blind really is that much of a hindrance of getting Not, I don't think so either. But I would lay, I would, take I would lay into it if, yeah. was, if I was in Germany. I'd be like, I can't see any pussy. <laughs> I can't, I can't, see I can't see get any pussy. He's saying, I see her twice a month learning different <laughs> sexual <laughs> positions. I'm young. I'm satisfied. <laughs> I'm not in love with Latka. I'm <laughs> looking for a girlfriend. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, he's learning all those things to do. It's cool. Yeah. yeah. Huh, that's quite a gig though, man. Can I ask a question? <laughs> yeah. Because there's like diseases that make like old people look like children. Yeah, pejor- pejoria. Do you fuck like that's like as the sex worker, you have to fuck like, mm. a, you know? Mm, yeah. Like a person that looks like a kid. Oh, that'd be tough. Ooh. Do they really look like a kid though? I feel like, well, they look I, like creepy old, <laughs> <laughs> creepy old kids. <laughs> Physically, I don't know. Well, this kind of reminds me, you know, this brings me back to our opening clip was this guy who faked being disabled so that um, caretakers would change his diaper and bathe him. <laughs> what? And he got, he got arrested. Whoa. Um, That's so illegal. It seems like he was actually basically wanting He was just enjoying this. it? Yeah, right. Yeah. So what he mm. was doing was he put in, um, he signed on to a service online said that he was the character he pretended to be a woman named amy said that had a a client that needed some bathing and changing and then hired people but he was the one doing it the whole time and then pretended to be disabled and then That's some pretty of them evil like, mm, yeah wait but this would take away i was actually like supportive of, of his thing for a minute <laughs> and then i realized that but, uh, he's, he's pretty criminal creepy. but doesn't this take away sex workers work i mean is, is sex work legal in germany they're yeah. probably yeah, they're probably the same people. Oh. They're getting hooked up. Everyone it's hookers. Wins. Oh, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Hookers getting paid by yeah, the state. Yeah, because this is where uh, one. That's remember Yoshi said his favorite place was uh, yeah. Frankfurt or something to go yeah. to. Yeah. For his one of our friends only sees hookers. <laughs> oh really? Internationally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he saves money. Like he'll do. He does medical testing on his own body. Like he signs up for those things. So they're right. like, this might kill you. This <laughs> might give you Parkinson's. And he's like, okay. And then, <laughs> and then they pay out. You know, it's like five grand for mm. weeks of staying there. Ten percent like, chance of Parkinson's. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, so what are you doing now? He's like, well, I got like five grand. I'm gonna go to uh, Amsterdam. I Frankfurt. love that. Yeah. I miss <laughs> living like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> kind of. Were that, you, was well, that your life? well, not to that extent, but I mean, like, when you get a hundred bucks and then you buy some beers and sausages and you're oh, fully right. content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Sure. That's yeah. that version of that. Yeah. Here's That's the, here's true, the guy, right? By the way. But so, is he scamming anyone, or I guess I just didn't understand what's the crime? This guy? Yeah. yeah. I was confused. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what's the big deal if they're getting paid? This was exactly my. Is the government subsidizing this? No, I think it's that. Police say this man, 30 year old Paul Machaca, pretended to have Down syndrome. So, you kind of know when some. Isn't there a look? I mean, I generally just, uh, a look. Yeah, I feel like after I've seen the hospital, and there's like you have a whole section of people, and there's one person in on doing their shift, and then every two hours they like change everyone's diapers, hmm. mm-hmm. and then you realize like this is this has to be the worst job oh my ever. Gosh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. they're like angels. They yeah, are. They no, are. Right. That's what I was saying. They're so, so that's, sweet. That's why when I heard that, I was like, "That's evil." The, but you're right. Yeah. Their grace because of these sweet people and getting initially, off. Initially, I go like, so, "I mean, what's he doing? Yeah. He's just like <laughs> pretending and he's enjoying himself." But he is preying on somebody's goodwill. Yeah. And um, it's not in this, but in the article I read, there were like the caregivers were all like, he insisted on more thorough washing to his genitals. <laughs> oh my God. And, that's uh, the He always had an erection for every bath. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> See, that's, <laughs> the, yeah, that's the problem. Well, that's just a, yeah, that sounds like kind of like. It still honestly doesn't like, just on the surface, you're like, yeah, it's what he likes. But <laughs> I mean,. It's I see. I think do. you make a good point. By the grace of God, walk these people on this planet. Yeah, and this sick fuck yeah. is making them rub his no. dick. <laughs> well, are, we, are we hearing this wrong? By the way, remember the baseball clip? Are we hearing that wrong? 
I don't know. We should ask them. Would you guys do you? Going down to third base. Nice play, Machado. He'll make the throw over. Pools is retarded. <laughs> I heard definitely something retarded. <laughs> okay. So we're not we're not mishearing that. Play it again. I heard that too. Okay. okay. Just wanted to make sure. Just make sure. Machado. He'll make the throw over. Pools is retarded. Yeah. Wait, what else could Pool he be saying? No. Pujols is the guy's name. Albert Pujols. Pujols is retarded. Yeah, he's retarded. It does sound like he's saying that, right? Yep. Pujols is retarded. <laughs> what else could it be? I'm trying to rack my brain. Pujols is retarded. <laughs> There's really no alternate explanation. Thank you. I just wanted to confirm. It. That's all. I wanted to confirm. I heard. Know. That's what I heard. Okay. All right. You heard something was R-worded. I really guess. leaning into the R-word. I mean, I'm just, yeah. I'm just trying to <laughs> understand what's happening. I don't. I just. I don't know. Um, here's what I want to ask you guys, though. So you know, we've gotten to know you guys a little bit personally, mm -hmm. but I'm ultra fascinated mm -hmm. because you know we come we come from the stand up performing world, and honestly, the whole YouTube of it all is almost foreign to us, right? Mm -hmm. Like we always knew there's like YouTube stars and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then when you guys, I was talking to you guys about how you got started, you like throwing up a video, and at one point you said, I think you said for two years you didn't have a thousand subscribers. Mm -hmm. it took so, us a year, I think, or two years. It took us like two years to get, I think, a thousand mm -hmm. subscribers. Two years. Yeah, mm -hmm. but that's like everybody's rise to YouTube is different because it can happen. You know, there's people that will grow to stardom in those two years, though. Is, this is just then a fun thing you're doing? You're like, yes. Oh, we just enjoy ourselves. Yeah. There was nothing at stake. There was no uh, delusions of grandeur. There was no expectation at all. It was very much... I mean, our early videos are fucking so off the wall, dude. Like, compl like unwatchable. So I'm not surprised at all that nobody watched them <laughs> for that long. There was, there was, quite frankly, no reason to watch them. Um, and they were also like were they uh, just funny videos? Yes. Okay. Attempts attempts at humor. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. Like um, sketches, but yeah. right. I, it was a lot of just trying to find um, my voice and my style. And but you still are like this is just I do this for fun. Yeah. Right. Very much. Yeah. I mean, I I wanted to um, I wanted to work in comedy. I never I never thought that I could be a performer. I thought like oh maybe I'll I'll write for somebody okay but this was just my way of being like well i want to do comedy because i was i i worked when we were in israel for five years at a desk job and so i was five years yeah Jeez. and marketing while i was going to school for yeah. art mm -hmm. he was working i and mean what, i was working too but what was your desk job what kind of job i was just a content manager because mm -hmm. i'm and you know I, I have a degree in english and writing mm -hmm. so when you go to israel that's actually like a marketable skill Mm -hmm. which was crazy because I was looking for a job for a year. And then when I moved to Israel, all of a sudden I got a job, like an actual real job. So that was cool. It was exciting for me at the time because I didn't think sure. that I would ever, you know, whatever. But so five years working a job that I eventually wasn't satisfied because who the fuck is satisfied with that work? And just saying that I want to do comedy, so let me do something about it. So I just said, all right, I'm going to start making some stupid videos on YouTube. And over the course of two years, kind of, found my voice and then I think we started getting more serious about it when we've kind of found different kind of things that we thought were working and were funny and like from the first two years and then from the third year I think by the end of the third year we probably had a million subscribers so, wait, oh my so between God. year two no. and year three mm -hmm. am I wrong when we left Israel when we moved here we had about a hundred thousand subscribers so at that point though let's go, I like the tears whoa whoa wait how long ago was that? Three years ago. That's mm -hmm. it? What? That's basically, we've been crazy. doing it professionally Are you kidding me? for basically since we moved here. So about three years. You realize, you realize that's Jeez. like a, that's a nanosecond, right? Yeah. That's crazy. So wait. And although so, on, on YouTube, it felt like we had a flies. slow right. start. It's crazy. Wow. Time flies so fast on YouTube. Because some people, could, it could happen to them over a month. Like, Really? Yeah. That's happened many times. But that's over so the much better to go your route. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. is. Because these Definitely. people, they come and they go. Yeah. And you don't want to be the rocket ship. You want to be yeah. the steady, steady yeah. climb. Definitely. So at what point, so at 100,000 subscribers, you obviously know like, well, like people are digging yes. yeah. what we're doing. So then you go like, we need to 
focus on it more? Like we need to try and, yeah. and make this yeah, a thing? Yeah, we were very, very focused on like the craft and the presentation and the packaging. And um, we were like perfectionists and we were just solely committed to creating like one video a week that was like the best thing we could put and we and it was also funny because we were both like we didn't know how to use the camera properly <laughs> or sound or anything so every week we tried to make it better and mm -hmm. we like starting from minus painful <laughs> yeah know? painful uh, drudging through well, it's cute too that you guys you did this all as a couple though too yeah, yeah. we made yeah. the channel um we made the channel together the first day Ela had a video art class, and they. I had a. It was one of the mandatory classes on the first year was video art, and um, they just gave us an assignment to make something, and I I didn't want to be in it because I was so shy, <laughs> so I brought a camera home and I was like, "You want to do something?" And I recorded Ethan, and that's how. Like, Shut up! How e cool is that? Yeah. That first video. And was I so ended up taking fun. that class the whole four years. Wow. And um, all the videos I showed them were really weird videos with <laughs> Ethan in them. Yeah, I think. So what'd you get in that class? What was the grade? It was good. It was I didn't I don't remember but you show up you I, get a good grade. Yeah, I was yeah. A, oh, okay, all right. Yeah. I was like a <laughs> valedictorian. <laughs> what? Whoa. <laughs> Smart. All pants. thanks to me for sure. <laughs> for sure. And for Ooh, Ethan being in serious? your videos. No, the videos we made oh, were man. very like um <laughs> Tim and Eric inspired yeah. and like lots of nudity too. and just disgusting, like really awful, just like embarrassing. And that comedy didn't make it to Israel yet. Like, wasn't no. a hit. Oh. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Is that <laughs> they were really? like, I think they thought we were trying to be like avant garde. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Artist. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but not funny. <laughs> Definitely not funny. So then, when was it undeniable to you that this is actually a career? Th th three years ago? So I had, uh, I had like a, a, a job that was going really well, and I'd worked there for a year. And I had just decided basically that I wanted to. This, I don't, I think I was probably making like, you know, one thousand dollars a month from youtube at the time mm -hmm. it was not a lot but it was like hey that's a little fucking money right so i quit my, i just said fuck it i'm gonna quit my job and i'm gonna commit myself to doing this just because i want to give it a, a fair shot and um do you that, have, sorry to cut, cut you up but is this the kind of do you have the kind of relationship with your parents where you tell them something like that like i'm quitting yeah and they're like they stupid? i mean they don't i remember my mom even was like Really? Why? Are you sure? You don't want to find another job before you quit your job? And he's like, no, the point is to doesn't want to do that job. Well, <laughs> my mom was trying to get me to become a teacher even, even when <laughs> as recently as like... Like two years ago. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. She w they lived in Vegas and we when we yeah. first immigrated to the U.S. because we got Ela a green card after we got married. And she's like, are you sure? You don't, They have this great teacher program out here. And <laughs> and even at the time, I was probably making like five, six thousand dollars a month, like doing like pretty good yeah. considering I was a YouTube entertainer. Sure. That's a great living. So, I don't mm -hmm. know. But my, I, I never really heeded much advice from them. So frankly. then you, you take, but at the time when you quit your thousand dollar a month revenue, mm -hmm. you really just focus on making these videos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then it just steadily paid off. Yeah, absolutely. I never went back to work after that, and it steadily paid off. And I mean, like, Ela was like hand stitching these little, we called them Jeff Dunham fuck dolls. Because I'm obsessed with Jeff Dunham. I think he's like <laughs> fast. The phenomenon of Jeff Dunham fascinates me. He's sure. a fucking ventrilo racist, white trash ventriloquist <laughs> yeah. that everybody loves. Uh huh. And so he I. He sells out a arena. arena. Unbelievable. Yeah. He is fucking. And they'll add international. He literally wears like a. <laughs> A shark tooth puka shell necklace yes. to this day. He and he also he also builds he'll hand build a kit helicopter and then fly it. You know, like a basically a cheap helicopter. <laughs> he'll make one <laughs> and fly it. It's kind of crazy too. He will do daytime arena shows mm. like n high noon. That's crazy. Because <laughs> that's that's a tough, right? That's tough. That's yeah. like that's yeah. the toughest gig. But the, but the kids will come. The kids will come, know? and he'll do like. Not just secondary markets, like third or dairy, fourth or dairy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're talking like outside of the town, outside of the town, uh -huh. and sell out. Well, yeah, arena. everyone will come. Like, I just, yeah. he, he's, a, he's a fucking, but it's like nobody was like, hold on, this guy's a fucking ventriloquist. Let's all stop and just think that this guy's actually doing comedy with puppets right now. Yeah. yeah. People yeah. love it. 
He, he does. So that thing, fa- but also his material fascinates me because it's all very racist. It's got like the spicy jalapeno. <laughs> yeah. You know, and Ahmed. And the Ahmed. Yeah. yeah. It's just so But stupid. that's when his career took I off will because. Kill you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dunham's been Think around a minute. It. No, he was that, around for a long time. Do you want to know that a funny puppet thing? is what. Absolutely. was what made him take off Could was you, when 9-11 you, you happened. You might say 9-11. Oh, right, right. It made his career, Dude, and he was just a puppeteer no, guy for years. I remember this, because I moved out here after 9-11. He was on Last Comic Standing, the regional spot, in like year two, year three. Oh. So he was still trying to get like a yeah. bump. Like he had had a wave where he was successful, and then it kind of faded a little bit. So he's on Last Comic Standing. This is year one or year two. And I'm at the Melrose Improv for the taping. So this is like the L.A. spot, and then they'll move on. They, they gave them strict instructions that, like, if you hit the two-minute mark, we will cut the sound. Mm-hmm. Like, we will pull the, the mic will die. Mm-hmm. And he was up there and ran the two-minute mark, and they cut the sound. And mm. so he was still talking, and they were like, <laughs> Jeff. Je-, and, like, <laughs> and they told him, and he was so pissed. Really? That in the back hallway... Mm. He was yelling at someone. And I'll tell you, even that year, you probably, you were watching that like, he was hoping for a break right here and it didn't Mm -hmm. happen. It's when he took that Ahmed character, I think it was Iraq War, 05. Mm. And and so like when, you know, we're like, uh, the enemy is over there. Right. And started doing like, uh, you know, we're like, we're fucking with Iraq and started doing that character that, it exploded for him. So it exploded. I want to say it was nine eleven, and it was like Ahmed remix. <laughs> like he got to Actually, use it again. You might be, you might be right, Some but I know a, that he wasn't. I feel like that he was wasn't 9/11. doing. He wasn't doing a, arenas. Some have like theorized that, that uh, Jeff Dunham was behind nine eleven. <laughs> 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 and it actually all makes sense for his so, career yeah. that would be fucking amazing. Jeff Dunham did nine eleven. You hear it all here, folks. Yeah, bro. So anyway. Um, that was the craziest tangent, but I had this Jeff Dunham fuck doll, which was like this mutant aborted <laughs> fetus, it and I would do my, these really uh, fucked up puppet shows. It was, I was also taking a sculpture class, so I kept trying different stuff. I love and this. I tried making sculptures that I was sewing. <coughs> like, <laughs> so one of them, I wanted to make a doll of a girl sitting. And it, it was, was a Miley. Si- it, it was meant was to be a Miley Cyrus. <laughs> it was based on the Miley Cyrus <laughs> on the rocking ball. Oh, yeah. That music video. So I, it was just like a weird character. It looked like caricature. an aborted fetus. Yeah. Well, anyway, I, the I long it. story short is that people really love these things. So Ela was hand stitching these and selling them. And like <laughs> we were going to the post office every week and uh, sending yes. like dozens of these. Until you found stamps.com, am I right? <laughs> I wish I had stamps.com sponsor, <laughs> yeah. man. Not in Israel. <laughs> oh. I had to stay in the line for like an hour. Oh, time. no, no. But we were, yeah, we were, we were hustling, hustling. We were hustling. Hard. Love it. You guys are such a great team because it's like <laughs> the are. idea, and then she would execute <laughs> the idea in, in art school. For people that Just don't hilarious. know who listen uh, only, especially to the show, like the you guys are like the videos are le- obviously you know this, but they're legitimately really funny videos. Mm. I mean, you guys are they're making like really funny comedy Thanks, stuff dude. happen. That's Thank nice. You. Um, <laughs> but also, like I was, um, I remember when I first started checking you guys out online. Mm-hmm. And I saw the clothing. I was like, oh, they have, like, everyone has merch. They have merch. And mm-hmm. then I was like, oh, no, they have a clothing line. This <laughs> yeah. is not just merch. <laughs> and, yeah. like, like, things are actually designed here. Well, that's yeah. all you. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because so Ela cool. first wanted to, well, Ela's plan was always to become a designer. And when I first moved to Israel, she was in the middle of applying to become, go to design school. And they rejected her. Mm-hmm. So she ended up going to art school instead, but like um, we came to a point where suckers, yeah, yeah. fucking <laughs> losers, assholes. Mm. Anyway, we came to a point where we were working very hard on our YouTube channel, and we just thought, like, hey, we've got this opportunity. We've got like the capital, and we've got the f- fan base, people who are interested in you know consuming mm-hmm. this product. So we just thought it was a good opportunity for Ela to pursue. Yeah, Ethan was actually the one who pushed me to do it. To do the fashion line? Yeah, because it was like, why not? I mean, we have the money, so let's just try it. Well, we was it scary though? Because I also feel like it's pretty scary. Um, like the steps of like knowing what to do, isn't it? Very like I don't don't know know anything. Yeah. Yeah, Mm -hmm. Well, Hmm. and at first you got to spend your own money. Sure. And commit to it, you know. 
And you just see money going out. Yeah. You're like, oh, just oh keep making God. stuff. Yeah. But that's yeah. okay. I mean, no, it's fine. But it I mean, was, yeah. yeah. I think we probably spent like a hundred thousand mm-hmm. to start up with like lawyers and clothes and then getting the clo paying for the clothing. Yeah. But the hardest part is find good, good manufacturers. Mm. It's very, very difficult. And everyone's very, very tight. It's, it was like a black hole. I mean, we didn't know anything. Mm-hmm. We were fortunate to meet some, some guys with a small clothing company of their own reached out to see if we wanted clothing. Mm-hmm. And, we end up being like, hey, maybe these guys can help us out in the right. So they helped point us in the right direction, which basically helped us uh, start developing the the first kind of collection that you put together. It was really yeah. successful. That's awesome. It's How about so the name? Because cool. I dig the I name. It. How did that come about? <laughs> um, I, I don't it's know. Just a name. I, really? I, yeah. It, ru- it rolls off. It's the just a name. Mm-hmm. We call it. It's embarrassing. It's we so call it. We call each other Ted. Mm-hmm. <laughs> teddy bear, whatever. Oh, it? it's, it's derivative. It teddy bear. Yeah. yeah. Also, it came from your your cute little nickname for you. Yes. Yeah. So just hello. We were, that's awesome. We were trying to think of something with like a good, that would have and a good I, logo. And oh, this is a perfect time to ask this. Then yeah. let's see if Ela's an actual FGT art. Oh, for God's no. sake! So we, by the way, I, did you appreciate that Ela wore denim today to our show? She knows. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we've been having this debate. Mm-hmm. In recent weeks, okay? <laughs> I just want to see where you stand on this. Okay. God. So let's say you're out and you come home <sighs> and you get home and Ethan's like, hey, Ted. And you're like, hey, Teddy, I love you. And, <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, uh, he's like, uh, he's like Ugh, I got to tell you something. And you're like, did you forget to feed Shredder? And he's like, no. So I went to the bank and you know that guy who's a fucking dick? The, uh, the parking attendant and you're like oh yeah that guy's such a dick he's like yeah so i saw him at trader joe's and he was a dick there and anyway when i went back to my car oh he was God. his car was by the dumpster i stabbed him in the neck he's dead um <laughs> anyways the body's mm. in the trunk mm-hmm. <laughs> are you turning him in to the authorities huh I mean, it is your husband. Notice she's thinking about it. Right. Yeah. But I just want to know. Think about Shredder. Think, Think about, about your whole life. Everything you're used to. It's, that's a really tough question. But the guy's I a know. real dick, and you've, my, you've seen him be a dick my before. Fir- <laughs> I'll tell you what was my first response. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take no, I'm it. not turning in there. Right. That was my first thought. I'd ride or die for you. Oh, my God. <laughs> But it makes but, me think but of. But it makes me wonder about myself. Like, should I? What is? Well, the gut reaction. What's the? You live with the shame and the guilt, but in that moment, you know, you torture yourself for the rest of eternity. But you yeah. ride or die for your partner, dude. It's not even. No. To me, it's no question. No, like, it, yeah. let me tell you something. Okay. It's you zero. thought about that a little too long, it's, and I'm, I don't know because we're on the no, li- not. Well, I didn't back. actually kill somebody. At least <laughs> yeah. for the game, just say yes. I mean, I'm saying it's different. <laughs> These. <laughs> These chicks are different. Okay. So she is like, yeah, I'd of course I'd fucking call the police the right now. Yeah, she's ready to turn. Oh, me you in. would you, turn him. You want to yeah. know why? She's terrible. Here, here's okay. why. Okay, now here's the fuck. See, now you're now. shaming me for thinking too long. Here's the caveat: <laughs> if he accidentally kills somebody, oops, I, I hit a bicyclist. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna dig the ditch. I'm the first one to mm-hmm. find some chlor. What is it? Chlor chloroform hydrochloric acid hydrochloric you acid dissolve burn. the body yeah. fuck yeah dude i'm right about accidental, yeah. accidental death yeah, let's bury uh, however <laughs> first degree lying in wait planning plotting somebody's murder and, and he's then, not the guy you knew he's not the guy right. you thought he you knew that's right and it also means there's a switch that flipped because now he's acting on these impulses he has yeah. poor impulse control I'm thinking too much mm. about and, it. and, yeah. and <laughs> when is he going to turn that wrath on he's gonna kill me you. on oh. my children oh. on my dogs <laughs> please he's going to do this shit to she's us she's right it's got to be accidental oh. if you're like if you're like oh i just stabbed the guy to death but bang yeah, but that's different. If you're it's an thinking accident. about it very realistically. <coughs> Thank She's you. She's right. In in reality, that's probably see, and that's where. Know. But I'm thinking about it like in a love story. Passion. Yeah, it's a love story. Moment. The that's, moment. That's where it should be thought. She's of. singing as a love story. <laughs> okay, here's but my answer. One hundred percent. I'm yeah. like, take your clothes off. Let's throw it in a fire. Um, yeah. I got the. I know the the place in Griffith Park. Where we'll dump the body. And I'm not. And you're. And you're like. And I'm not even saying it hasn't happened before. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Wait, babe. Okay, if I were to go to you and I'd be like. You know that fucking sales clerk yeah. down at the mall? 
<laughs> Cinnabon, she's been fucking eyeballing me, giving me some shit. Yeah. Well, the other day, I waited for her in the parking lot, and then I slit her Achilles the tendon. Uh-huh. Is that what that is? Uh-huh. And then she collapsed the floor, and then I fucking stabbed her 20 times, and I put her in the trunk. She's in the trunk right now. Okay. What do you say? You're going to you're going to help me get rid of her? 100%. I wouldn't even think twice but about that. But see that the thing that Tom Tom is assuming that you, it's you. <laughs> yeah. You're understanding that you know. That's why you're the guy being, you know wouldn't do that. So yeah. something's fucked up. You're being realistic. Something's right? wrong. Yeah. And then he's saying that I'm thinking You're both on the same page. You being you doing it. <laughs> yeah. But really you're um, you're all something yeah. Yeah. But you, know, yeah. you know what yeah. it makes There's me think about cuz I've been listening to Stern a lot and he's been goofing on the whole uh the Julie Chen moon vez. Yeah. <laughs> and so he, and so there's a lot of debate about like okay, we're talking about murder. Well, this guy just, you know, raped a bunch of people which maybe not allegedly even oh i sorry allegedly what do i know yeah but uh if uh, so like if you find out that tom is a prolific rapist oh my god <laughs> yeah. i know that'd be pretty bad <laughs> <laughs> that i would tell like you somehow bad. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 that's true so the emotions of it are different if you look at it from julie yeah. chen Moonve- moonves is yeah it's like that's your that's a guy you know but is it and, and yeah, what's true what's tough. not I, what's what but in which case you've confessed that you've plotted somebody's murder and then you followed through, dude. You're, I, I'd have to assume you fucking lost your damn mind, son. Yeah, but I'm fine. And you're gonna kill my I'm fucking fine. kids. I'm fine. Let's go out to dinner. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's even scarier. They're like, what? <laughs> of course. You're not scary. hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's go get some shakies. <laughs> like it's not a big deal for you. That's way crazy. <laughs> yeah. If I'm like, yeah. oh, ah, I'm tired. <laughs> you know, they had. The, I watched that documentary on Whitey Bulger. You know the Boston. Uh, he was he was the 10, 10 most wanted for twenty years, oh, right? Jesus oh. Christ. James Whitey Bulger. So I he, love his name. Yeah, he you ran. Guys the, watch this kind of stuff? No. He oh, ran yeah. the Winter no, Hill Gang. Too sensitive. Yeah, me too. The movie Black I get Mass. Disturbed easily. Yep. Black Mass, which everyone thought was about Shaq's <laughs> asshole, was actually about <laughs> James Bul- Johnny Depp played him. Anyway, he was a ruthless Boston gangster, mm-hmm. and he ran what they, they called the Winter Hill Gang up there, and they. His uh, one of his partners, who's like was a government inform you know witness, said that he was like, yeah, there's this thing about. It. He goes, I never saw Jimmy. That was James Bulge. Uh, I never saw Jimmy in such a good mood <laughs> than, when he, than when he killed somebody. Wow. He what? would just be in the best mood for. Yeah. He'd take a long nap and okay. he would just be in the best, what? best. Yeah, like, yeah, like the the, the valve, That's the tension fun. valve yeah. released on the, he, on the guy. He killed his <laughs> partner. One of his like partner's stepdaughters and he was like when we buried her in the basement he's like ah jimmy was in the best mood for days <laughs> yeah. he was fun memories yeah. Yeah. see well now. you know if killing people made you feel that good yeah then, then what? you know what i mean you'd like, have to participate i think the thing is you got to learn to forgive i need to release <laughs> like that you know of course i if i i mean shit Christina, you need to learn to forgive. It's and Christine. It's, Christine, you need to learn <laughs> learn to forgive, and there's nobody better to tell you how to learn to forgive. Oh, right. Okay? <gasps> well, what the yes. fuck? I'm just thinking about forgiveness, and yeah. oh. it's been a deep journey for me her. because I've had to look into the shadows of my own heart mm. and understand how I've hurt other people mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. forgive myself. She's naked in bed. Yes, yeah. thank you. <laughs> Why? Is this really everyone, a common place? <laughs> everyone in this best. family spouses different. The Smiths, right? Yes. Yes. Different lanes of wisdom. For any wrong acts that I might have committed or any pain that I might have caused. What is she looks this good. about? She's yes. got her makeup yes. on, her my hair is shame, done. She just always has um, sort of insight into, you know, spiritual mm. and and psychological awareness. Just as her son famously does as well. He, yes. he also shares thoughts. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is fine, but maybe not naked in bed on Instagram. Yeah. Like for myself and forgiveness for myself. Mm. It's such an I unnecessary... Forgiveness. forgiveness. Four items. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm obsessed with you know, Instagram. Are perfect. We're I... I, I like Instagram. People's uh, it's a window into how people want to be perceived. That's why I love mm-hmm. it. It's psychologically very fascinating to mm-hmm. me. Instagram sucks me in more. I I'm on like a full social media detox. Sure. I have like even I have YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram not on my phone. Wow. It's I just I just think it's good to yeah. Just uh, so you, I, only, I don't want to be that you're, guy. You're smart it's just a personal it. thing. Yeah, you, you're smart you about it. You logged in on my phone because I feel like I don't have as much of a problem with it. I can control it more. 
So if he needs anything, can do it on my. That's smart. To That's how you something. do it. It's called it's self protection. You yeah. know what I mean? If yeah. there's something I you need, need to care. know, then well, that means I gotta go and show you all these things. Jesus. <laughs> no, I love watching <laughs> this shit. That my internal emotional life. <laughs> Lady, can you not? Terrain on the planet. Is she flexing right now? Has a Sahara desert. Woman up. I have a Sahara desert within me. That place where. Where my are fear you? She's in like a spa. Resides. That's probably her home bathroom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Seriously. Yeah. Planet has an Antarctica. I, I have, have an Antarctica, Antarctica in me <laughs> where Thank you. I have hurts that run so deep that my compassion and my understanding and my love Oof. is is frozen. She looks over. like she's got Vaseline everywhere. She looks great. I just want you, you know, let the record show true. to the audience. I just she opened does. up a bottle of water and I refreshed Ela and Ethan's glasses. It's Ethan. And we did notice that. Ethan. Thank you, Ethan Isla. Thank you. That was, that was <laughs> so thoughtful. Yeah. That was a generous, caring, beautiful moment. That Only was. a mother could have been uh, so and empathetic. And a water champion. And a water champion. Well, um, you know. So uh, because Christina thinks I am a violent psychopath, <laughs> I'm going to be taking this uh, psychopathy scale test. So uh, one of our listeners sent it in. Hmm? They say I watch too many murder shows. So yeah. I won't go through the whole thing, but basically I, I put Whoa. a level of, inter like, on a scale of one to five, one meaning there's no match, five meaning a very good match, you calculate the total score. I'll do it after the show, and we'll get back with my total score. No. But it says things like, just to give the, uh, the listeners an idea, for instance, number wow. one, success is based on survival of the fittest. <laughs> I am not concerned about the losers. That would be a strong match. Five. Number two. Uh, I've stabbed the attendant in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah, five, 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 five. Five strong five. match. My main purpose in life is to get as many goodies as five. I can. Hard five. Um, <laughs> making a lot of money is the most important goal. Ten plus plus. All right, so I'll do them later and we'll Psychopath see. Psychopath scale. I'm, yeah. I feel like... If you're a psychopath, you would lie on this thing. That's right? a thing. I think that's probably yeah. Yeah. now. Here's the f I think the flaw because I read this over before the whole thing is, is that try to be honest with you, it. Though, well, right? most <laughs> humans aren't this self-aware where you would right. be like, I enjoy manipulating other people's feelings. Yeah. Like you, you're in denial about the stuff that you that's do. That's true. You yeah. wouldn't know. But there is probably yeah. right a way that you could. Well, <sighs> ju you you could answer it somewhat. It, you know, I think the you thing would is, justify it to yourself more, like. In a way that would make sense to you, instead of saying I just enjoy it, Whoa. right? You would think there's a reason to make like, but like, yes, mm. for instance, some some real like like let's say somebody who's definitely off the charts, yes on this, could read things like love is overrated, overrated and be like, yeah, hundred percent, yeah, yeah. And, you know, yeah. they get them, uh, they trick them. I often love admire a really clever scam. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I love a good scam. <laughs> <laughs> when I get frustrated, I often <laughs> let off steam by blowing my top. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what yeah. the fuck does that mean? I don't know. I that mean, you get, you yeah, blow your a top. Hothead, you, get, yeah. you say crazy shit. Oh, blow shit, my probably. top. Yeah. Jesus, this is like an old timey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Jesus, right? I blow my top. You ever just blow your top? Uh, uh, bust up a shiver. But yeah, By the I way, don't see you, this. You said you're watching a lot of murder shows. Yeah. yeah. I've noticed there's so many of them. Lately. There's so, so many people are watching them. Yeah. yeah. So it's not just you. It's like I've tried to no, tell her. No, they're fascinating. You know, they're great stuff. Ela, you're right. It is not just him. However, <laughs> oh. if you look at his Netflix queue, it's exclusively three primary categories: murder, <laughs> Hitler, and drug lords. <laughs> and yeah. there's very little else outside of those three points of interest, I which is say, troubling to me. I would say, actually. Very misleading. A uh, <laughs> lot more drug lords, crime, very little Hitler. Yeah, Hitler really? is so boring. It's Ooh, very boring. Hitler's so boring. Who that's cares true. about Hitler sure. anymore? Okay. Yeah, that's the thing. Is that it, it, here's it's the like, thing. we get it. You get it, and it's also, uh, like, I tried to watch one of them. That's the last one I tried to watch was a few months ago. You know, the footage, the narrator, it all feels very redundant. So I what's your jam? It. So you're saying you're over it? So what's yeah, your I, new I jam now? No, I do watch a, a lot it's of the drug I, just, I wish there'd be a new Hitler already, just right? drug lords. Yeah. <laughs> just, I'm waiting for part two. <laughs> I just want a new uh, dictator right. who's really into genocide. You know, somebody to kind of right. take the reins. Want some excitement. Yeah. Why aren't they, uh, they... Stalin's interesting. Maybe no. there's not as much footage on him. Not that interesting. Mm. I've, seen, I've seen a lot of Stalin footage. Yeah? Hmm. Um, yeah, Pol Pot really's got he Pol he Pot's needs some good more media. Docs. Biggie, um, and I feel like the whole Kim family. I wish they weren't so mm. reclusive. Let some more yeah. cameras in. Take <laughs> ten years. That'd be a, yeah. <laughs> I mean, this little guy. 
uh, when he off the uncle, there should be a whole documentary yeah. just on that. Right. You know? Yeah, true. Do you remember when Trump did that? He goes, he was talking. This is like a year ago. He's like, he's like this Kim Jong Un guy, little fella. He's like <laughs> with the uncle. <laughs> like he was like giggling about it. I love like, it. He's like, he's crazy. He could kill his uncle. <laughs> That's the best. That's conference. Trump at his best, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and he little you rocket man. Part of him was like. <laughs> It, like you got to respect this guy. Yeah, it you know, was. He wasn't like this is a reprehensible thing. Right. He's, he's on this scale. Yeah, oh, he's yes. like, do you ever admire other dictators murdering their family members? <laughs> yes, five. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally Easy true. peasy. He's now, crazy. who goes to sleep first between the two of you? Does one of you fall asleep before the other? And... It used to be me. It flip flops. It used to be mostly me, but lately it's Ethan. I used to always outlast you, but yeah, lately always. I don't know what flip something flip flop. And do you watch television while she goes to sleep? Yeah, we always watch TV. What's your jam? What do you watch when she goes to sleep? That's the real when she falls asleep. Anime. No, well, (laughs) sometimes if I have a good one to watch, I like anime. I'm not embarrassed to admit it. No, not embarrassed. You just watch. I play video games or chicks love that. It's hot anime, video games, right? Mm. That's right. <laughs> are, you, are you taking a jab at Ethan yeah. right now? Yes. I, I that's every the, wife's I have, nightmare of video games. I have the to wait for her to fall asleep. Yeah, see, that's nice. That's what I do, that's too. That's considerate. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I mean, first of all, she goes to bed like a fucking third grader. You know, she's yeah. What time? Yeah. Well, because I'm up at 6, so I go to bed like 9.30. Yeah. But then well, I have to wake yeah, up and you got two kids, breastfeeding so. and all that shit. What time? Yeah. You, what, how, what's your schedule throughout so, the day? So then, okay, so I try to go to I pump at 10. Mm-hmm. I fall asleep. I have to set my alarm. I wake up at like two to mm-hmm. pump at two a.m. and then I wake up at six a.m. to breastfeed the kid again. So oh I don't sleep. And those are like long sessions. You're half fully hour. awake. Half fully awake. It's not like fully awake. You're like uh, you're awake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And do you get resentful that Tom doesn't breastfeed? I do. Yeah, the, she especially with it all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, why, how come your tits don't make milk? Like I, I they just should. have you tried? No. We could try. <laughs> I wish you're. I don't understand why the male partner has zero. Do you want to put him on there today? Well, you to <laughs> provide for the caring of the baby. You know, those hairy tits. And I'm saying this for. How can you not get resentful? Like, yeah, I know. I'm, you're gonna hate. Of yeah. course. And the first kid, especially, I really hated him. Second yeah. baby, you're like, this is just how it goes. But then <laughs> shit flips when that baby's a toddler. And now Ellis only wants da 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 da. Mm. So I'm like, oh, now it's your turn to be like mm. the it's center. True. It's true. Mm-hmm. It flips. Now, do you feel bad that you can't breastfeed, or do you sleep like oh. peacefully and and, <laughs> slump and I am the world is at peace. Doesn't care. Broken up about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. sure. Uh, yeah. Well, for both of your benefits, because you are broken up, you know that you can get a fake tit that you put your milk in, and he can wake right. up at two a.m. You put your pre. <laughs> Pump milk in the tit. The baby can breastfeed from this. One of our listeners tit. sent in a. Um, <laughs> I like this idea, though. We we li- really like to publicly shame, you know, all different types of assholes in public. Sure. And one is uh just you know we encourage people to park like decent people. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. one of our listeners sent in. <laughs> look at oh this God. fucking guy. Oh my God. Well, the, so the question. I mean, look at this job. The question. Well, like, there's is, the line. Just yeah. So you know. There's the line here. So fuck. Off. I have an alternate explanation because sometimes this happens to me and I feel bad. Mm-hmm. The question is who parked first? First, right. that's true. That right. is true. sometimes you're forced to park like an asshole and then the other asshole leaves and you look like the asshole. Yes. That's very true. And that's just yeah. it's happened to me, but it's cool. this he's not this, pulled in or anything. This looks like <laughs> it's impossible. It looks like he had to come after him, right? Yeah. I mean unless Unless before this mm. car to the left that's was over was. here or yeah. something. That's what I'm thinking. Exactly. Well this guy Took, I mean, look at that. <laughs> look at that. That's so he left him a note on the car. Oh. Hey, asshole, I wish whatever cunt bag you came out of <laughs> would have taught you how to park. I wish you the most extreme explosive <laughs> diarrhea known to man. Good luck, love, white hot cum dump, piss on me and beat me. Jesus. Oh my God. I love that. Uh, yeah. You know, it probably was an asshole park because everyone's lined was. up. Everyone's really Everyone lined else. up there. Well, uh, guess where um, Stay United is from? Where? We finally found out. Where? Tell him I'm dying. So, I'm guessing so Mexico. Know, I'm putting we, money on Mexico. We saw a video of this guy, mm. and he he does his version of staying alive. Can mm-hmm. we show Which them? We, of, course, of course. Of course. Oh, wow. Stay United States, United States, United States, United States, save the land, save the land. The desert. Save the land, save the land. Sounds like it might be his last breath. (laughs) (laughs) So, yeah. 
first time we saw this was this video. Since then, we've been sent There's more. dozens of videos of him doing- on YouTube? All, From where? Well, everyone uh, just like has like, will, wherever they see this guy, will he'll <laughs> do his stay united, stay united, stay united, <laughs> and then they'll send it in to us. So we played uh. it over and over. We're like, where the fuck is this? And we saw some writing at a restaurant he was in front of that I looked up and was in Spain. We're like, oh, maybe he's Spanish. Turns out, Please, our man I'm dying to know is more. from his name is Omar Jackson Batata, and he is Patata? from Batata. He's from Morocco. Oh, mm. snap! Oh. I wanted, I wanted yeah. to say I sent something Middle Eastern, and yep. no the shit, way it was like the swag. Yeah, interesting. He lives there. Um, Batata means sweet potato in, in Hebrew. Yeah, really, mm -hmm. it does. Yeah, uh, Omar Potato. Um, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> This is uh yeah that's it. he we've been we they keep sending us videos of him singing <laughs> singing well his. God bless wow. us yeah. sweet soul Dude, he's the raddest yeah yeah he's that's actually a talent man I mean when you watch him I pay money to watch him do that Mass and Square Garden that's <laughs> he's fine he might sell out because uh, we've been twelve o'clock in the afternoon we uh, what about scatting do you guys know what that is when I people mean, I know there's two meanings to scatting one involves shitting and the other right. is like beep bop. Right, mm -hmm. so there's people like skip a doo ba yeah. dee ba boop ba. Like I would <laughs> rather watch that guy do the Staying Alive song ten times in a row mm -hmm. than watch twenty minutes of scatting. Sure, you don't like scatting, or you but, like him? No, I like the Staying Alive is... guy well, because we've been sent videos of people scatting, and uh, we're like, mm -hmm. if you were to watch that as a show, which one would you go to? Yeah, that guy's a legend. He's yeah. out in the desert of all oh, places. So hot. Missing teeth. So is someone Fuck. directly recording him and sending you guys? <laughs> or is it oh, online? No. It's online? It's online. Okay. It's online. Okay. All these everywhere. videos are submitted. Mm. From no, but listeners. I think there's there was a listener who actually saw him though. So mm. lucky. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like a rare Pokemon. I know. He really is. <laughs> yeah. He he really is. He um and he always does his version of Stang Alive. <laughs> 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 and then they sent us a picture of him Just, with teeth. No. Oh. Yes. I almost don't want to see it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's he, see it. Oh man, where's the stand oh, alive guy with teeth? It. <laughs> it's gonna ruin everything. I I know him one way. <laughs> Staying alive teeth. Let's see. Don't you dare. <laughs> don't yeah. you dare. Staying alive. A what kind thing? A what that thing? A what that thing? Now, do you guys have local weirdos in your neighborhood? Like, um, yeah, they're like they're not whole, wacky. Uh, they're a little scary. Yeah. <laughs> what do you got? There's we had like, a, we had a bearded lady in our old neighborhood. Really? See, so you you guys are in a really, it's a nice. Our, ours is closer. Is like really close to Ventura. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of. Uh, We'll get like two homeless guys who there's will a, always be there. I mean, there's one specific corner across yeah. from CVS that is always covered in shit, puke, and <laughs> yeah. garbage. Yeah. And I mean, like, uh, that's right. That's right. There's like one spot. <laughs> cool. That's we walk by every day. Yeah. And um, there's just yeah, there's some transients that. The thing about transients, and I I hate being like judgmental because you know I feel bad for. I, I wish we took better care of homeless people in this country, but the thing that scares me about these transients is that I just feel like they're loose cannons. Like they're unpredictable. Oh, because of mental illness. Yeah, they're yeah. just unpredictable. You know, one minute can have a dollar, the next minute, fucking. Yeah. The that's... transients, you're saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been in a little coffee shop with a, a guy who walked somebody in. It was like, get him whatever he wants. Mm -hmm. And um, the guy goes, oh, yeah, thanks, man. And he orders a sandwich and a coffee. And then he goes over and I watch him open the coffee and I'm just standing there and takes a packet of sugar and he puts it in. And then a second. Mm -hmm. And then a third. Fourth. <laughs> wow. fifth. He puts in like 13 packets of sugar and I was like, whoa. I didn't <laughs> just realize. Just fascinated I was watching. like, holy shit. <laughs> and then the guy goes, here's your sandwich. He's like, you're not going to fuck with me. And flips out at the guy, says he's trying to poison him. Wow. He hands him a sandwich. He throws the sandwich <gasps> to the back of the Sad. Head, like, oh, oh shit, it's fucked up. Yeah, yeah. Every I feel like we tried to do that to one guy, and he was like, uh, he was gonna wait outside the restaurant, and we went and got food for him, and we come back out, and he's not there. Yeah, wow. yeah, but yeah. that happens a lot. But there's like paranoia. Yeah. you know, you're mentally ill. You're yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. But then there's entertaining homeless. Oh, there he is. Yeah, this is not with the teeth, obviously. Does he do any other songs? 
Is he just trying to hype himself up? Because life's tough. I'm literally staying alive. Fuck out of here. Fucking desert. I love that he just does the sounds of the words. Yeah. I think he doesn't speak English. That's right. Yeah. 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 I used to do that too. And you go, stay united, stay united, stay united. Stay united. Did you sound out like things that like sounded like English? Like in your head? Yeah. Definitely. You know, when we first met, Hila barely spoke English. What? We had difficulty communicating. So wait, you're just smitten with her when you meet her and you and you start... Like emailing, or how do you do it? Well, you meet at the Holocaust Museum. We know that. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Um, and you're feeling romantic. We're you're love. Like, this is a nice starts. setting. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Hitler. I always say that. <laughs> <laughs> I do owe him that. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, you know, we just hit it off. We liked each other's company. Obviously, it wasn't like in a romantic way at the really? time. Really, I was, was interested. Just- Okay, yeah. I it, wanted to fuck. I think I knew that too, but you know? but I was like, well, he's going back to America. So, but you know this guy, you like you know he likes you. Yeah. She's, yeah, yeah. she's she's not the type of girl to give it up. She did, she's not she's looking a for a girl. cheap fuck. She's not looking for she's a cheap a good fuck. Girl. Which is great. I like, you know. So you yeah. did, you got up, you I wasn't the like cheeks. aggressively <laughs> trying to, you know, have sex with her. No. no. You knew yeah. that you had a good girl on hand though. Yeah, she's a sweet girl. Yeah. I you know, which I liked. So how do you send? Like, wait, how but, how soon after the meeting do you leave? You only see her once. And we you were leave? there. We were together for a week. It was a week uh, kind of activity. But hanging out. We were, we're hanging out yeah. all the time when we were there together, and we just stayed in touch via you know email and Skype. And face. I didn't know what Facebook was. What? And Ethan and all the Americans. Mm-hmm. Told the Israelis, <laughs> you guys should get Facebook. And they're like, "What is that?" That's so every, that was. everyone I was like over ten emails years emails, and it was kind of when the it was like a trip. You know, we were a group, so everyone was like, "Oh, it's sad that it's ending." So let's all exchange emails. But I guess most of them probably didn't actually stay in contact, and and we did. We Aww. did. <laughs> did you send a message like you trying to smash or <laughs> like that kind of thing? She knew. She knew. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and then after, so you go back, you see her just via Skype, email and stuff. When do you actually physically see each other again? It was a while. You had a, a boyfriend. What? A year? She was. And even then, I just came to, I came here for two months and I went back and then another year. Damn. Actually, yeah, well, I was persistent, man. I you was really good were. for you. Because yeah. a guy like me yeah. <laughs> gets a girl like that interested, <laughs> you follow that thread. Yeah. <laughs> as far as it'll take you. And that's what made it actually the the fact that he was so persistent because I I never thought it would be possible I don't know. It's like, and then he's like, I'm coming to Israel, dude. I'm moving. I I came here first. Oh, you did. Okay. When I finished the army, uh, everyone in Israel usually likes to take a trip somewhere after the army. After the yeah. army for like. Is the commitment two years, four years? I it's two for women Believe and three for three for men. Believe that? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't serve, uh, and I'm angry about it. <laughs> So I finished the army and then I was like, well, everyone takes a trip somewhere. I'll go. I know where Ethan is. I'll just and I had a brother here in LA too. So I was like, I'll make that my trip and I like from the first moment moved in with him. Mm-hmm. Oh we, my god. When you so you're like essentially visiting, but it, you moved it, in. Yeah, it went from like Skype relationship to living together wow. immediately. Yeah. yeah, and then by then we like, look, I'm trying to now. I'm trying to get in. I'm trying. To fuck. <laughs> yeah, well, well no, it was we obvious. were. It was a obvious. Lot of, that. A lot of hand movements. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Of, it was. <laughs> yeah, there was Tom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? We had. We did have. We probably <laughs> did have. Uh, we consummated probably the relationship that evening. No nice. way. Nice. But that, but we knew yes. that we did know we that that was that, actually because yeah. Ela had a boyfriend uh-uh. uh, for a Somewhere while. Somewhere in the middle but of that, I, yeah. Um, it was almost like my. Then, it was almost like my attempt at like, let me really see if I really can have an Israeli guy and make my life simpler because <laughs> this whole thing is gonna like mm-hmm. be so complicated sure. for everyone. Yeah, and like my parents hated the idea. That you were seeing. Did a they like your? Distance. I don't know. I didn't yeah. know much about your the your boyfriend you had in Israel. Oh, let's let's talk about. Was it. he interesting? <laughs> he was okay. No. Was he like Mossad? Like really? No. Nah, I mean, we were all forces? just like out of the army. No one was doing anything. He's like six four. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ripped. No, he was. I think no, I really? th- saw a picture of him. He was he was ripped, right? No, he's okay. He's not a ten. He's not like 
Oh, he wasn't a 10. She, no. She's like, a 9 is not a 10, okay? <laughs> what was he on a scale of 1 to 10? What was he on a scale of 1 to 10? Who's a 10 for I you? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't He was embarrassed about this stuff. Yeah, what, what celebrity? It's really, it's yeah, really like, I, I don't even know who's a 10. I don't care about this people based on their looks. That's how I ended yeah. up with her, you I see? I don't. I found a girl. She's like, I, I don't care about looks. I, I like, dated girl. a couple of good-looking guys, and they were like the dumbest <laughs> guys I ever <laughs> met. <laughs> But I, I went. I went out. Check this out. I went out <laughs> with Christina and her ex-boyfriend to celebrate him uh, passing his bar exam. Like, because I knew her as a friend, so mm. I was part of the celebration while dinner. you guys were dating. So while I she, while she was dating her, I was dating. Yeah. You were dating him. I was dating. Yeah, we, yeah. Tom and I were just friends. Mm. And from mm, doing comedy, from doing mm-hmm. stand-up, yeah. And so my ex-boyfriend had just passed the bar exam, and we were all going to the strip club across from. Um, <laughs> we, were, we were doing yeah. stand-up. First we, went, first, we did dinner. We went to a, a big dinner first. <laughs> oh right, right. Yeah. yeah. I thought like that a, was after show night. And, no. and you were nice already dinner. interested then. Yeah, but I mean, like, I, so she. Uh, I was also friends with like couple other like it was a group of us who were friendly that were mm-hmm. comics and then i got i think that she didn't call me i think another friend was like do you want to come out to this dinner like celebratory thing with christina and uh her boyfriend and i was just like yeah sure mm-hmm. i mean we went out and then we had a, this nice dinner uh, i think it was probably like 10 12 people and then they were yeah, going to strip part. club mm-hmm. <laughs> and i was like okay and then in the strip club she comes up to me and is like hey uh want to get a stripper for my boyfriend and everybody said to ask you that you'd be the guy to know <laughs> like like which stripper to get yeah because you're because you're the dirtbag comedian now a here's two parts to the story i, I wouldn't like, that's I, not true you're not you got, you're not a strip club freak. no yeah no. i would never but at the that. time so this guy this ex-boyfriend of mine i was actually on the outs with him which is why i would never get did my you, fucking did you approach <laughs> boyfriend tom, on lap dance let, let me ask were you approaching tom in a flirtatious way of like i'm kind of into this guy or were you genuinely like i want help getting a stripper for no, my boyfriend no i genuinely here's the deal i was too too into getting rid of the current boyfriend like he mm, and i okay. were just kind of on the outs and i was i wasn't looking at dudes yet so i yeah. i was more of like unconsciously wanting to push him off mm-hmm. of me mm. and so I wanted him to get a lap dance in a weird way, I think, to to get rid of, like, to get him interested in someone right. else, if that makes sense. It does. And so I was talking to other male comics that I'm friends with. Like, it was Full Charge and Sickler and, uh, I don't forget, Andrew Wontuck or something. And I was like, dude, which, like, who's the guy that picks out the strippers? Hmm. And they all point to Tom. <laughs> and I was like, really? Segura's the fucking dirt bag? <laughs> How and do you feel about that? You picked out the girl. I thought it was funny. I think it was. I thought it was funny. And did you pick a good one? I don't I remember. remember. Mm. I think so I probably, you know, somebody like knowing myself, like not remembering it, I probably would have uh, ran with the ball and been mm. like, "Oh yeah, yeah, I'll tell you who to get." And then like, <laughs> yeah, scope sure. them out and be like, "You did. You totally girl. were like, yeah. I'll help yeah. you." Out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I liked you. I always liked you as a comedian. I thought you were very talented. Like Tom never sucked at stand up. He's mm-hmm. a oh, freakish yeah. people yeah. who like from the first time he did it was just amazing. Really? Wow. And we were all open micers, mm. and I ran a show, and I would have him close out. Every show, I just saw huh. almost every show. The closer. He was so funny, uh-huh. even back then. In your relationships too, he was the closer. <laughs> he was the one that came and right. locked it up, right? Pretty much. Does that makes sense. Yeah, it's true. I actually got I got in there. I made it a deal. <laughs> you did get in there. <laughs> yeah. She so was like cute. such. A, so young. She was like such so punk rock. <laughs> she was like wearing fishnets and knee high boots. Smoking cigarettes out oh, on yeah. sunset. I was like, Jesus. <laughs> so angry. This was she before was like, therapy. I was like, <laughs> she's, like <laughs> she's like, where are you from? I <laughs> <laughs> shut up. Okay. Yes, you were. I did not say yes, like you that. You were. You were I'm totally like LA girl. You're like, I'm from LA. Everywhere else sucks. It's true. Like, okay. If it's not LA, it's shit. <laughs> that is Doesn't her philosophy. Count. Oh, I'm so pro LA. I'm like, hmm. Except I for Israel, LA. I love Israel. Well, have you been there? <laughs> no, I want to. Know. I go That's there. cool. That's all right. No, as far as the U.S., I, I I love LA. It's my home. I just don't like leaving my area. I don't like it. It's comfortable. Yeah, yeah. it's comfortable. I'm What's out there's you 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 learn as you get older. Everyone's like got this idea in their mind, like the trip of a lifetime, and I need adventure. There's nothing. There's nothing good out there. No. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. There's nothing out there. No. It doesn't no. It's not good. What's out there? The same <laughs> shit, except you don't different food, fit different in. flavors. Do you do you not like traveling? 
It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it is overrated. I swear to God. Traveling is yeah. severely overrated. I think you would well, really well, quick going with my dad. Well, going through LA. I got to get my dad on the phone <laughs> with you. My dad, is, I was like, you're, my dad's retiring in December. And I was like. God bless him. Um, yeah, I'm like very happy for him. I go, uh, are you, you know, do you want to travel? He's like, I want to travel. And I go, you know, somewhere <laughs> like, let's say you haven't really been to and enjoy like Italy. He's like, Italy? <laughs> Italy. <laughs> he goes, what do I want to do that for? I go. <laughs> I go, I don't know, you know, <laughs> museums. Are, he's like, oh, shit, I hate that shit. And I go, <laughs> That's amazing. why? And he's like, I mean, if once you see a painting, you saw it. He's <laughs> right, <I> go, though. <laughs> like, who actually, you have to pretend to enjoy museums. Oh, I don't enjoy Nobody them Nobody who's an honest person enjoys museums. No. It's fucking stupid. Yeah. And you only go, <laughs> you only go because you think you're supposed to like it. Right. There is a degree I agree of that. that. I think there's moments of enjoying a there's museum. There's moments. <gasps> That's true. But very rare. What's it's the moment? True. No, the, I'm saying. Some, you know what's the moment I enjoy when I get a fucking like you, lunch you, and I sit a, down. That's true. That's true. There is it's, it, it. It does a feel bench like. Yeah. I think a part of it is you're telling yourself you're more sophisticated. Yeah. Than yeah. Not true. Right. And that you're like, oh yeah, this is this is where this was done, and you learn yeah. something about it. So in that moment, you go, I actually know now. Now you the know. The year something. Monet did this. I feel you're not like I remember that. Yeah. No, you don't. No. I used to take a I, uh, when I studied abroad, we had to go to a museum once a week with mm. the whole class every wow. week. So Did every you enjoy week. that? Yeah, because you're actually you're getting a, a dosage, an injection right. of that feeling. Right. Because the, you're actually walking through the museum with a, an art professor mm -hmm. mm. who is so, you know, so informed mm -hmm. that it's like getting a super tour, you sure. know? And then you leave there being like, I'm a museum guy. Yeah. Mm. But then you go back by yourself. You're like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. Yeah. yeah. So it's... You know, it's, there's a little bit of like self manipulation. I think. Yeah, it's to make you feel smart. Go ahead. There, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I as just, a kid, when you go to like uh, when I was a kid, we go to like Chicago Museum, uh, Natural History Museum. Those kinds of things are cool. Yeah, for the fucking kid. dinosaurs and shit. Yeah, that's, that's just cool. I feel like it's just people want to do something with themselves. Like when yeah. you go to um, a, and here? you and we, we went to Montreal and we were like, okay, what can we do here? And then there's like, oh, there's a museum. You're like, you mm. know. What, I don't That's know. That's the top what, rated what attraction do, in the whole fucking city. You're what do me adults that, do other than eat? <laughs> right. well, drink. Yeah. yeah. The problem. The problem yeah. with us human that's beings true. is that you go to we don't have anything to fucking do. Well, th this actually brings well. up the, the anniversary. So our anniversary is coming up. Mm. Uh, Ten what? years. Wow. And oh, that's um, incredible. and well, well, I was like, you guys need to take the trip of a lifetime. Well, I we were know. talking about what to do, and I was like, let's go to an awesome restaurant. She's like, that's all we do. All we do is eat. Yeah. And go, more expensive well, what eating. Else, what else are we going to do? <laughs> yeah. And so, yeah. I don't know. She was like, uh, think of something more exciting. I'm like, got ideas? It's tough. No? We can't think of something I really, to do. I personally yeah. really want to, I have never been to Hawaii. I want to go stay oh, at like a really nice. nice. You have to do that. Yeah. See, that kind of travel I like. I like beaches. I like relaxing places. You know, good taste, mm -hmm. good smells. We down. can't do that with the babies. You know? Yeah, no, not yeah, yet. Yeah. We have to wait. What can you do? I, I have that problem like every fucking weekend. It's right. Like, what, what are you going to do? Do you do? Let's no. You've got to eat. That's, yeah. it. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Yes. Can I tell you what it's I do? Ela doesn't really like eating, I have no, to tell you. And I think doesn't. there's a big... so Wait, what's an Ela? Like, what's a fun adult thing? Like, if I'm like, let's do something really fun this weekend. That's the thing. I don't know. She doesn't, have a, she doesn't have a single answer for you. Yeah. Dog park? You guys have a dog? I don't really I don't enjoy that. I go that for him. <laughs> yeah. Um, I yeah. do that so that he's not yeah. all energetic and like driving me crazy. Movies? It's okay. When the no. movie is good, but I'm tough. Tough, yeah. Um, you know what's funny? When you're saying this, this is the exact moment I was like, oh, I'm ready to have kids. Because I was like, what the fuck am I doing <laughs> with my life? Yeah. Like, how many brunches can I right. have? Mm -hmm. How many fucking dinners can I eat? And mm -hmm. then you're like, oh, yeah, my life. Maybe that's what I'm It's the missing. same shit. It's, yeah, yeah, or just like, like when people, like we have two children and they're young, so we're pretty much housebound. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you feel trapped and you're like, I want to go though. somewhere. But you're like, where am I going to go? We never yeah. did anything before we had kids. Mm -hmm. Now we're That's just true. home doing our kids. You realize with kids, Let's go to the Getty. Yeah, I don't want to do Give that shit. Give me a break. You realize when you have kids <laughs> that all you did was chill hard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah before you had you kids. Chill. Yeah. Yeah. I was you like, oh, you still just lay around all the <laughs> time. Yeah. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Do anything. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know what else I don't want to do? And I think if I say it out loud, I'm gonna get like a torrent of fucking hate mail. Yeah. Um, like I have zero desire to see Hamilton. Mm -hmm. I saw it. 
It's rap. But I only I didn't did even it. know that. <laughs> but I, I only didn't know did it was it. fucking dumb rap. <laughs> oh, did you see it? No, dude, but I heard it was rap, and I was like, that fucking sucks. When she said okay. it to me, she really? said it to me the other this day, like it was a realization. She goes, did you know Hamilton's rap? I was like, of course. Everybody it knows right. Hamilton's Everybody rap. Knows that's I didn't the, know that. That's the hook. So oh, I mean, and the guy who plays you. Hamilton's like Puerto Rican. Uh, it just sounds terrible. Although he is Puerto Rican. So actually. after Ethan yeah. saw it with his mom, which was a nice thing, he took her to see My it. My mom loves it. I Very took nice. her. Yeah. But okay, Ethan loved the music and he kept playing the soundtrack. Oh, fuck. And I hate it. <laughs> you hate it. She hates the soundtrack. <laughs> I love it. I you l- listen to Hamilton's soundtrack? No, I love that she hates it. Oh, I hate so it. So everyone hates uh, me. What do you hate? No, it's just funny rap. to me. I've never yeah. heard it. Just I've never heard it. <laughs> is it like I've never heard a single yeah, track by the way I'm not insane if you go to the top charts the soundtrack of this play is like char- I know. Like people are oh, listening oh, people course. love it of I know right. I'm not insane but it's like catchy and it would get stuck in my head even though I hate it like what's the jam what's the big Hamilton fun. jam sing me like the jam oh, what's the best thing just, or just, I don't oh, know you know what what was one of Here. the <laughs> uh, there, there's this bit you guys want to throw up a bit sure I don't know if we can do that no we can't throw up oh cause it'll get flagged I, off the air, I'll show you a bit. Okay. Yeah. But um, King George is this really hilarious character because everyone's all like scrappy hip hop, like trying to build a nation. And King George has like these really hilarious bits where he's so out of touch and he's singing like classically. It's great. Okay. You're so going to love it. The King it. George rap is the one I should it's search. not rap. Wait, but how does the. Someone... That one's not rap. He's like, I'm building a country. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> How's it go? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm not to here remember. to defend. I, I, it's been a while, so now I'm trying to remember how it goes. <laughs> I don't know. The I Constitution, sing a song. y'all. I could sing a song. I'm not. But at, at any uh, rate, we all got I, slaves. I, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of. That is the truth. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but um, I like that. I my mom is into theater, so I took her. I, I I had a lot of fun. That kind of brings about one thing I wanted to ask you before. I know it's getting. You know, we've been running for a while here, but. Your mom. Would mm-hmm. you ever date your mom? <laughs> what? <laughs> of course, that happens. I'm your mom, and you're my son, and I am falling in love with him. No. He said, are you really? I said, yes, I am. He said, you know what? I was scared to let you know, too. I am, too. We're both no. consenting adults. If if uh, it comes down to it, you know, it's just like the gays. They're, they're you just know. Just like the gays. <laughs> as long as they're over 18, everything's fine. So is she yeah. going to jail? Uh, they got arrested. Uh, yeah. yeah they got arrested. Is it illegal incest? I think so. Le- yeah, I think book, marrying yeah. your mom is illegal. Fucking your mom, I don't think. Wait, why did they go to prison for it? Because they're married. I think they because they put it out there instead. Of, like <laughs> instead of just <laughs> fucking your fucking your mom and keeping your mouth shut, and they had to do news fucking pieces about it. <laughs> yeah, just fuck your mom in peace. <laughs> just dude. stop telling everyone that you're fucking your mom and you're fine. I thought you were looking for oh an answer. God. I was like, what? I was what? like, does anyone? Well, it's important to know, oh how, Ethan. I'm curious. It's just like the gays. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like the gays. Why have I never seen this before? Now, this is one of our uh, favorites. This is our. Where do you, how do you find this stuff? This stuff gets sent to us every uh. week. This show is who, listener yeah, generated. This is motherfucker. Where do they this send is, it to you? Our I mean, fans. We have a uh, email that goes. That Your mom's bonkers. podcast at gmail dot com. Yeah. Our fans, what's up? <sighs> I mean, we don't get this stuff. This, this is stuff, amazing. This Why is a, have I not seen this? This is a classic clip, though. I mean, this is just not this like week. The it's gays. classic jeans. Yeah, just like the gays. <laughs> Asked him, will you ever date your mom? And he said, will you date your son? I said, <laughs> Imagine being yes, someone's mom and saying that. 19 years, you're the best thing that ever happened to me, and I really want to be with you the rest He's of my 19. life. Um, 19. Ugh. Yeah, I, I really so. want to be with you for the rest of my life. It's your son, you she's, fucking Looney Tune. She's fucked up. What is you your problem? Why do you hate love? <laughs> but you know, in a in another sense, do I don't know if they need to go to prison for fucking she each needs other. To, in my opinion, I mean, kids, fucking kids. He's 19. He's 18. Yeah, yeah. he's of age. He doesn't so know better. He's consenting at all. Consent though. Gays do the same thing. I'm with gays. <laughs> Them. The gays Follow do the it. Logic, the if the, Follow gay, the if logic. the gays can fuck, then I can put my dick in any goddamn thing exactly. I want. That's right. That's the logic. In- including and especially my mom. The first approach was actually me. Um, what happened was we were we were hanging out. Imagine hanging out with your friends. And you know, just talking. You know, just laughing. Uh, and I looked at her, and she looked at me, and I just I kissed her. Uh, Here's a real kiss. I want to die. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? Yeah. I've, 
I feel like this is this is worse than anything. Do you guys watch this clip a lot? Yeah, yeah. it's pre. It's on the rotation a lot on the show. Oh, you guys are it's amazing. Now, okay, I'm so trying to learn from you guys. You, I just re- you guys are almost 500 episodes. You do one episode a week. That's incredible. That's, yeah, you guys are it's been a minute. Pros. <clears throat> I'm trying to learn from you guys. Oh, oh please, we're a mess. We're terrible. <laughs> no, you're not. Can I tell you? So, so what? Okay, what really happened? Those two were separated. So she didn't raise him the way okay. a mother would. Mm. So they did. Apparently, have, it's kind of common it's a psychologically. Oh, okay. Dr. Helps. Drew said that it's it is common. Yeah. You fall in love with no, your that, that helps the figure the that's story. not there. Yeah. Definitely. Why we gotta lock him up? I mean, that's not certainly gonna help this kid's psyche out, is it? Her, not uh, him. They're both in prison, apparently, according they are? to both of them. What's oh, been, I should ask them if they think so my. So much uh, is wrong. <clears throat> <That's> great. <laughs> He's propelled by his own shit. Yeah, and I get it. Uh, yep. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> we have a lot of fan artwork. We have some that hangs. You guys have great. Fans. So I guess in it's the like the Woody awesome. Allen case in a way. Right, Sun Yi was his stepdaughter, and except she did grow up with him, right? Yeah. Well, it's cray cray. That whole story is fascinating to me. The most fascinating thing about Woody Allen fucking his stepdaughter and marrying her is that they have stayed together. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. wasn't like he's around fucking kids. Like they're still married, going on twenty two years. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that, actually, that is the most impressive. Yeah. Part. So there's something I don't know. Love. Something because he knows there. he knows how to lay the wood. If we're being honest, man. Yeah, look it's at right that in the guy. fucking name. Yeah, <laughs> stepdad. <laughs> Can I tell you one time? I my stepdad and I went to kiss like or over Christmas. I was like 19, and like he turned his head as I went to kiss him, and I accidentally like kissed him on the mouth. You know, and you're like, oh, what? like it's so fucked up. Mm-hmm. Unless you mouth, do you mouth kiss your parents normally? Fuck no. I know, That's I hate people shit. That. Super weird. You, the first time I saw that, I have a neighbor across the street. It's so upsetting. He was a I friend know. of mine, and they said, bye, I love you. First of all, I don't even say I love you to my parents, like when we go. Like they say, like there's families that say I love you whenever they leave the house, and that's fine, yeah. it's sweet. Yeah. I just found it bizarre because. Yeah. We don't talk to each other like that much, like that. But then they kissed on the lips, and that's I was really just weird. like, I was like. That's <clears throat> yeah, I've seen that too. Fuck, it's odd. It's yeah. very weird. Odd. Weird. I don't know why. I mean, I think I just feel like the instinct too with like because we have babies. You see these puffy little cheeks. Like you kiss cheeks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why would you kiss them on the mouth? It just seems. Mm. It seems like out of the way, abnormal. Mm-hmm. Too romantic. To do it. It's romantic. It is. Yeah. <sighs> Let's get some laughs going. So, oh have fuck you... off! I hate this one too. <sighs> Ow. Wait, what happened to this little son of a bitch? Oh my god. Why did it look like he got shot? It was a car. It's a car. Well, oh something my god. exploded. No, that was just his his legs. <laughs> Wait, I gotta see the impact again. I'm okay. just confused. Yeah. Because I thought I I thought I saw a combustion. Oh my um, god. <laughs> what? <laughs> look what's happening here though. I know. Are you seeing this? Of course. <laughs> Wasn't there an explosion? No, I think uh, Am I crazy? it's that he dropped his uh, yeah. clipboard. You know? No, I Smack. thought there was too. Yeah. I think yeah like, so. Well, who's in the car? <laughs> a bad driver. <laughs> and you're losing the car. Stop! I'm stuck! <laughs> That's what he's saying. Stop. Look who's laughing hysterically. She's got a great sense this of humor. Is, this is the happiest she's been this whole episode. <laughs> All, You're sick like that. my husband. You got mental problems like Tom. See how concerned he is over here? <laughs> this guy doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> That's the funniest part. Is that guy? Like, yeah, he's just like, God damn. All right, I'm. I'm now we're gonna be late for lunch. Yeah. That's what his thought was. We're gonna miss lunch. Yeah, that guy's going to have a rice bowl. Right? So um, doesn't give a shit. This. Uh, I wait, swear. Is the scream funny to you? Yeah. Yep. See, I told you. I told you. you. I'm sorry to do scream. this to the yeah. listeners and everyone. Can we? Is there a slow motion setting? Um, I, if you it's, can it's scroll, the clipboard. It's the clipboard. Let me see. That's what it is. Yeah, I just it's, want to it's see. that he. Oh, it's, yeah, I see it. Now. It's that he, no, right? I don't know. You're right. No, but it, you'll notice it? Ethan with compassion there. doesn't laugh upon the impact, and Ela, the sociopath <laughs> like Tom, is laughing hysterically. Would you, <laughs> all right, we'll both take the test. Okay, I'll yeah, send you the. Test. We're all taking the yeah. test. Yeah, um, we're gonna. We're gonna alert. Yeah, though this is another class. This all-time favorite clip is uh is. I mean, it's fun. Garage, wa- garage worker crushed by a car. Oh my god! It reminds me of a. Uh, I could love to show you some videos now because this brings. We gotta do. Yeah, we'll do a, a cross thing yeah. of videos. Hold on. Um, so, wait. Are you, are you trying to show me? Something? I want. I want you to do that. Oh. Okay. Another hit, a big hit. 
just is, to get your actually this is probably the biggest hit that we've ever had no i i don't you know, oh, oh this guy coming this, up yeah, correct yeah, this is the, yeah. mm. this it's probably one of the most successful videos um okay you ready for it I'm here we go yeah here we go black guys who love to fuck and fuck good if you're a hot black guy and you want to fuck me at 23.95 if you want to move in you can move in but you gotta fuck me i need i need to be fucked a lot man Get rid free food, free rent, and everything else, man. You have a deal, man. Men from jail, homeless, or um, you're a thug. You want to come move in? A friend can move in with you, too, man. Free rent, you get a lease and a key. Fuck me. Piss oh off. Oh, my me. God. You, know, you see me? You want to come over today and try it out? Try it out, man. Dude, my Dude. Island, try it out. You want to fucking piss on me? Try it out. Seriously, so probably only this. Fuck, man. I'm looking for hardcore guys. I mean it. I want to do it. I want to deliver it. I'm a hot <laughs> white trash. Come dump this fuck. Dude, wow. this guy, oh, I yeah. admire him yeah, so, so much. Yeah, so do we. Because yeah. he knows exactly what yeah. he wants, and yeah. he wants it so bad. He's so bad. <laughs> and he's so what is, open What is to he it. doing while he's recording? Uh, That's guess, such a mystery. There is some shoulder movement going yeah. on. <laughs> the guy that wants... I mean, yeah. there's no shirt, right? Guy wants to get fucked that bad. <laughs> there's, uh, yeah. Probably, really. Yeah. All very observant. You guys are, you're really observing the similar, it took us a long time to dissect this video. Right. There's a lot of meth. We had Dr. Drew even watch it. Really? Like, oh, the he's, meth. He's like, like, you can, can smell oh, yeah. the meth. Yeah. Through the screen. I, I feel like that, yeah, that, that desire to get fucked. So, that's a meth thing, right? I don't know. It's, it's, right? it's his know. thing. Yeah, I don't know. But he definitely wants it. I don't um, think I've ever wanted anything that bad. I've never. I don't know that I've yeah. ever been that horny, even when I was like, you know, yeah, hitting puke. Fuck <laughs> that, if you're a hot black guy, if you're a hot black guy. 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 You want to fuck me at twenty three ninety five? If you want to move in, you can move in, but you gotta fuck me. But you gotta fuck me. that guy's uh, killing yeah. yeah. You can move in with me. You get free food, free rent, free lease, and a key. Free everything it's... else, man. Here is the deal, man. And here's the deal, man. 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 Man from jail, <laughs> homeless. You're a thug. You want to move People in? People really rent took to, to it. You know, I love really, it. Yeah. Free rent, lease, and a key. Fuck, he's gonna piss on me, beat me. I love when the audience oh, get submits. Yeah. That was wonderful. Yeah, that was, so that was a lot of fun. You guys have a great community. We really do. Yeah. They, we have the best cool. fans. They're very great. Um, They're look, so fun. You guys were, are, are so fun. I, I hope we can do it again. I know it's yeah. uh, of course. Please come getting back. late in the day. Too. That was great. I, I love to. Wait, how long has it been? Time uh, well, what time is it now? It's 3.40. You made me throw my phone, so I don't know. Uh, it's 3.40. Mm -hmm. I mean, the whole episode is already over two and a half hours. You guys, really? You guys have been here more than an hour and a half. Okay, you guys recorded or It doesn't feel yeah. long. Yeah, you, you did like half an hour, right, before? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, we did a little bit longer. What did you guys today. talk about? We just did clips mostly, you know. This weekend Goofing was around. sort of yeah. uneventful. Like, I took a massive shit this morning. Really? I feel like we didn't even talk about that. weren't right. responsive. Clean? Oh, my God. We're on a, I'm, I'm on this paleo diet to lose baby weight. Mm -hmm. And the browns have just been unbelievable. Good quality. Really good. Yeah. Not Easy hot. wipes. Yeah. Easy wipes. Pretty, pretty astounding. I have like three a day that are just healthy and. Huh. What are you doing? Same the thing. Same. Oh, oh, fucking. So bread is actually what's causing all the issues? No, no. Sugar. Yeah. What is it? I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, look, I don't need a variety. There's fiber in this diet. That's what it mm. is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Chris D'Elia put me on this. Uh... Metamucil. Yeah, that shit's that's oh, really good. awesome. Chris takes nice shits, huh? Mm -hmm. Apparently, if, uh, if you ask him, that's what he'll tell you. Apparently, he said that the wiping doesn't even matter to him because it's like a one wipe and he's wow. done. Wow. Wow. Like, and did, did it? Did you do it, bro? I t I take that shit like can't. It's kind of crazy. You get this big bottle and they're like huge pills, and you're like, oh, I'll just take a couple with every meal. You're supposed to take like eight a day. No, what? so, so, so nah. you know, you got. But like, I started take. Oh, something happened in my. I think maybe I. Oh really? Oh, I'm good now. I'm oh. good. But I started taking like two with every meal. God, dude, it's crazy because I usually have like really, you know, noxious shits, like really toxic. Smelly. Like, all, I mean, not just smelly. Like, I'm talking like sometimes you'll get shit on the side of the bowl. What? You're one wow. of those guys? Sometimes. <laughs> That's whoa. how your dad is. I always wonder how that happens. It's, it's not every day. It's a special occasion, it's like but explosive. Sometimes you're wiping like your thigh. Wow. wow. Let me put it that way. Not every time, but sometimes you're wiping your thigh, That's and you're like. like Really sick. That's like Crohn's disease. <laughs> oh <Yeah>. my gosh. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, but um, <laughs> what is that? I don't know. If, uh, That's a, a lady girl. from a <laughs> fart video, and <laughs> with, I love that um, when they pretend to be shy. So what they do is they fart, and they're like, "Oh my gosh, did I do that?" <laughs> like, oh yeah, it's Show like the the, the sexy. How? Oh my gosh. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and Did I do that? <laughs> yeah. Oops. Whoa. Show him the that king. That was the, the gnarliest mm, okay. fart I've ever hey, heard in my life. Have you guys heard of uh, a guy named King Ass Ripper? No. <laughs> You're you guys to. are like you guys are tuned into <laughs> What's why are we not seeing these videos? I mean we You guys probably have a you know higher caliber no. of entertainment. No. <laughs> but you guys are in the YouTube community, I feel like, because I I've s- listen to your podcast and you'll be like, there's like rivalries and stuff between yeah. people I've never heard of. You're yeah. like, this guy's whatever yeah, beef we do with we that dude and that yeah. gossip. Yeah, it's like a whole other universe it that is. we don't even inhabit. Yeah, we don't know anything about it. It's, I really feel like sixty when I yeah. like try to figure <laughs> out some of that stuff. I'm like, what are these kids well, talking about? Yeah. <laughs> well, even we were, we had dinner the other night and you guys were explaining why people want to watch other people play video games. Mm-hmm. And you're like, oh, that may-, but you're like, oh, they- they're good at playing the games and you want to learn how they do it. And I'm like, oh, that kind of makes sense now. Well, it's like watching uh, professional athletes. Yeah. It's not you want to learn to do it. You're just, you know how to play. You're just will never be that good. As amazing as they are. Yeah. I guess that's, that's also a concept that's foreign yeah. to most people if they're not playing all the time. Because mm-hmm. they probably go like, yeah, they're not that, like the thought is, that person's not that, you know, I, that, I used that unbelievable. To, mm. I used to they don't think know. like that mm-hmm. when I'm right. when I yeah. you don't play a lot, you don't go like don't that guy's great. Right. Yeah. When I first met Ethan, I used to think like that too, because he would put on this like Do- Starcraft. Dota Starcraft, the nerdiest looking <laughs> game. You look at it and you don't even understand what you're seeing. And he would watch people play, and I didn't even know that existed. So Jeez. now it makes sense to me after spending time and getting to know it. It, I don't know. I think it's just at first you're like, what? That's because people it's pay weird. like the Staples Center, right? Yeah, like, like these big, uh, the big conventions and like the the competitions are now in arenas. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's fucking crazy. But all the so online crazy. views are crazy. Like millions of people are watching online to see a guy playing a game. Mm-hmm. I guess yeah. you know, it's, it makes it's, sense it's when you just actually like explain prof- it. It's yeah. just professional right. athletes. Just yeah, the, it's the same same thing. concept. Finger. Yeah. Athletes. <laughs> Sounds like he's doing heavy construction. Yeah. How do you hold that much gas? Yeah. I like, Talent. This is when he gets split. Damn, he gets, he's got a he's got a fat ass. He's, Wait, yeah. what the fuck? That looks unnatural. So you got a whoopee cushion in there or some shit? No, he, he's pulled him up because I don't see his ass crack. Well, it's he's, flat. Yeah, <laughs> he's. True. I don't know. That's true. I Where's his? It sounds. It looks like he's wearing a diaper or something. Probably. He wears. <laughs> he actually needs them. Um, he should have. To. He gets playful sometimes, and he'll do like a little leg lift, yeah. or he'll do Seems. two thumbs up as he does it. Can uh, I tell you? That's what it sounds like when we lived in New York at like eight a.m. outside when they're starting to do work on the street. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I love the tidy whities. Oh, I had a friend. Yeah. I'm, I think I can explain this phenomenon. I've never heard this. I had a. I have a like friend. So he would. Uh, he had a party trick. He would lie on his stomach and he could suck air up his ass. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Oh, you know about that? Okay. Oh yeah. Well. Oh, I've... that's my video. Oh. That's my. That's my video. Shut Warm it up. up. Where? Here? Right there. Yeah. That's you. That's our first viral oh, yeah, video. Okay. Yeah, no yeah. way. That's your very first one. That's our first viral video. I'm looking for more. What's King the Ash most Ripper? popular type of video? Like, do you do you are you able to gauge what the audience wants? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the most popular thing that we make? Yeah. Reac- they're called reaction videos. And it's mm-hmm. you reacting. But to the it's video? just me watching something or making fun of something or and what are you watching? Something. Like what kinds? Like murder or can, bloody things? No, 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 no. It's no usually violence. something stupid. Something <laughs> stupid. Someone to make. But fun your commentary of. is straight up comedy commentary, man. Like that's that's what you're doing. You know, it's a it's comedic take on things. Yes. Yeah. I mean, so it could those be, it could be on a, like... a television clip show for sure. Yeah, I find it difficult to be funny when it, I don't have. I don't know. I'm not good at like writing jokes, so I feel like I need something to direct my. Yeah, but then you end up. I don't want to end up being jokes like... about that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't like. 
I don't. I'm afraid of be doing like America's Funniest Home Videos shit. Oh yeah, but you're not doing. No, that you're not at doing all. that. Dude. Okay, you're um, never that. That lame. guy, by the way, who was um, farting, who you saw his body for a moment. And mm-hmm. He's also over the years been a gainer, um, like gaining weight, mm-hmm. like intentionally. As, yeah, fetishized, oh. and like he was this pretty is what he, fit. This is what he looks there like he is. now. Oh boy, oh. this guy is interesting. Man, yeah. this guy's chosen to. Bacon this guy's got a path in life. <laughs> Two slices of cheesecake and vanilla shake. I'm envious of him. Look how much look how much weight he's gained. Yeah, yeah. he's pretty fat. He was Dude. really he was really healthy. He when was. I, so people are meant to watch this and get turned on? Yeah. Yeah. He won't come on our show. We've asked We've him. You've contacted really? him so yeah. many times. One time he made a video and dedicated it to us. Uh-huh. And that was like his, I think. <laughs> I see you. Can I say something like that I really admire about him and people like him? You're turned on? No, I just, I like that they know what they like. That's yeah. true. Yeah. yeah. I he just, turned down I, money. Really? How much? Like, oh, can I? Well, you know, it was like, I don't know. It was like, I think it got up to like a thousand or something. And wow. he was just like. See in the area? No. It yeah. went up to saying, travel. Yeah, but I'm saying like, it wasn't in. like he was Check like, that's in. not enough. Yeah, right. How about this? He was just like, I'm good. Yeah. Because he, he's. Because he does it for the love of the game. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. he's you know he's got rules. Right. Mm. He's really gained a ton of. Weight. I like how he looks Doesn't around, kind of cautiously, like who's <laughs> watching this shit. Sometimes he'll he'll just eat. He'll smash like uh, six egg McMuffins and then a two liter, and then he'll like. <laughs> He'll get up and fart on food and then eat that. <laughs> he farts on the food and yeah. eats it. Yeah. Man, I wish I found the videos you guys find. I love your show. I love uh, everything. You know, our shows are kind of, they're kind of similar in yeah. a way. Yes. Minus yeah. the YouTube gossip. I think so. I think you're right. You guys share a sensibility in a way. Yeah. You guys have fucking real sleeper cells out here getting you some good content. Man. They do, man. They hey, do. You Tommy, guys are amazing. Re- remember his handle? What was it on? Was it on Lively? He was like, I fart in yo face. Yeah, that was his. <laughs> he kept getting kicked off of services. That's so funny. So he was on YouTube and Lively back and forth, and he was hairy and gross. I fart in yo face. Hairy and gross. Yeah. <laughs> How many views does this have? This Can one? we read some of the comments? Sure. Um, sure it's like jeans. Burger King. That's a lot. Score. Let's Dude. See. 16, 000, let's see. Five. Have... Look at the description. Five. What? Imagine <laughs> more farts, please. <laughs> I don't have a fetish. Oh, these like, are all your fans. Probably. <laughs> Dear King <laughs> Astrid, but where can I donate money to have you make a video for me? Also, do you accept? Also, if you accept, can you do a shout out? Imagine working at Burger King and seeing some fat slob walk in with his own jar of mayonnaise and do this. That's true. You'd be like, what the fuck? Hey, there's you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Why are people so angry? Yeah. 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 They are. Um, I'm proud. They always are. I know. Especially on. You guys put up with a different kind of. Look, stand up comedians deal with hate and uh, people not liking what you do. But I feel like in the YouTube community, man, that hate just seems real fucking immediate and direct Mm -hmm. and like. It is. It's intense, right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. YouTube the comments are just brutal. YouTube comments are hard, man. I don't. I try to stay away from them. I don't even read mine. It's just. Like as a comedian or traditional media, there's just there's a layer between you and the people that doesn't exist at all on YouTube. Right. It's just there's no right separation. But also, it's the YouTubers against each other. I think oh. is a thing that doesn't exist following the comedian world. No, we don't yeah. do that. Mm-hmm. Like rap feuds, rapper feuds. No, dude. So you guys have like full on rapper feuds with other YouTubers. No, no, no. It's more like. Um, People will make videos knowing that it'll get a lot of views. Um, it's not like I know them or would respond to them or anything. It's like, like it's a feeding frenzy when something happens and then everyone's like, trolling. Not trolling. They're just like uh, making a video about it because they know we'll get a lot of views. Gotcha. Hmm. Yeah. It's, a to- it's a totally different game, totally man. Different, man. Yeah. 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 It's wild. It's wild. Yeah, because that that whole thing of being able to quantify doesn't exist. Really, in stand up, you know, you quantify like ticket sales, ticket how many sales, but you're like, doing. you know, people kind of just go, like, That's great, wow, that's a lot. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. that person should sell more tickets. Like, mm-hmm. it doesn't really become like it's not like a because you're, you're we're, we're not always like publicized, like, you don't yeah, look somewhere right. and see ticket sales. Thing yeah. is, like, um, 
And also, you have this like YouTube algorithm. So there's a bunch of people that are angry at us right now because we made well, whatever. It doesn't. It not. It doesn't really matter what. But so there's like this feeding frenzy of everyone making videos like talking shit about us. Gotcha. So what? then YouTube algorithm is suggesting this video. To, like you just saw this video of someone talking shit about us on the sidebar. So it's like it creates this ecosystem. Like we saw this one channel that has like no subscribers. Mm -hmm. Gets on average 300 views per video, and they made a video being like uh, talking shit about us, whatever. And it has like you know 300,000 views. Jesus, it's like they're building their, but it's like this this ecosystem that the algorithm Dude, creates. We have to do that. So yeah. it's like oh, we have we to make start it. doing their. I shit. can't, you know. <laughs> yeah, God, worth maybe either. like. Ethan and Hila just left here. We got shit to say. You would fucking yeah. get a lot of views. <laughs> yeah. Exposed. Yeah. 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 So oh, we're, we're, gonna do, we're gonna do a total exposed <laughs> yeah. video. Yeah. But it's just it's like you know you live and die by the it's the yeah. it's fuck. It's, it's funny that people would say that uh, like make shit talking videos, especially because I think I think actually even though we got we don't like know you guys super well, we know you more away from that. Than from that, mm -hmm. so to us it'd be like, why would you make a video about those two? They're super sweet. <laughs> Thanks. I know. You know what Thank I mean? You. Like it yeah. seems weird. You're like, what? It is weird. <laughs> it's weird for me. Yeah, it's weird. And the part, it's weird. Yeah, it's weird because they don't really know who we are, but they're just, you know, uh, it's just I don't know. It's weird, and that's why it's so difficult for me oh. too because I I feel like I didn't do anything wrong, but and. Part of it, it's so painful sometimes or difficult is that you can't escape it. Like, I'll open YouTube and my whole homepage, like right now, is just full of H3 hate videos because YouTube thinks that because I watch oh, right. H3 videos yes, or yes. anyone that watches H3 so videos like you wants to this. see. Yeah. So oh, it's like they're so pushing painful. it to all of our fans and it's on my homepage everywhere. And that, I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's tough, dude. It I is tough. I can see it being... Yeah, that is tough, especially because it's unescapable. It's like the you way can't. you're right. The way that it's designed is is supposed to heap on. It's yeah. just what's popular, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's a popularity contest in a way, even if it's negative popularity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whereas as a stand up, like you release a special, people might hate you. They might tweet at you once, mm -hmm. and that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like it doesn't right. kind of pile on and pile right. on doesn't generally. stay there really. You know, it kind of goes yeah. away. It goes away. It'll People go, forget how well, shitty you are, and then <laughs> they move on to something. Like it, this will go away eventually. It's yeah, just it right now. Away. It's like. YouTube has this fucking insane algorithm that knows that everyone sees that video is like, what the fuck is this? And clicks it. Yeah. So it's showing it to everybody. But it's kind of, it's it's sweet in a way, knowing that you can create a whole ecosystem of hate videos. Gosh. And plus you guys are so kind of like newer, right? You've been doing it for three years, right? Total? Well, three years full time, I guess you could say. Right. I feel like Tom and I have been... Um, used to people hating us for like 15 years wow. mm -hmm. and the first of it yeah. begins when you start featuring in clubs and there's these thing called comment cards because the club wants to basically collect email addresses mm. so that they can solicit and they actually make you read this shit they don't make you so what interested. happens is you'll f as a feature act you're like yeah. i wonder how people think about it. i wonder oh. if i did great and then you're like <gasps> You know, you, there's so bad. There's ten good ones and then one horrible one, and you're like, "Fuck!" It just Pretty, crushes it's you. It's painful for sure. But yeah. it, what happens is that dosage starts then, yeah, and then you go <laughs> like, "Oh, I need to, I need to up the uh, anti venom a little bit, mm -hmm. right?" So then, yeah. still hurts, right? Like the next few times, but you just get you you build up that immunity to it mm -hmm. after a while. Because I remember seeing a set that I did uh, mm. at a, at a show at a festival was posted to something and I'd never had no, something totally posted. Hmm. And then like you had like some people were like, oh funny. You're like and then you see like the first like, don't quit your day job, dude. This is <laughs> right. fucking garbage. Yeah. God damn. Yeah. But it kind of comes with like levels of exposure too. It does. Yeah. It does. I just I don't know why like <laughs> well we were joking about it the other night or last night, wasn't it? When we got dinner. Yeah. Oh my I, god, that two was two nights ago. No, it's two nights ago. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> god time. Well I was saying like for me, it feels almost like a bee sting where you get, when you get stung more, you become more allergic to it. Oh. I think I'm just, I I think like I'm in a really like uh, depressed place. So maybe it feels more painful now yeah. than it should. Oh, I was going to tell you, if you are bummed out, don't go read your comments. Oops. Oh, there's one right now telling, we, telling us we Tom, suck. Tom, you suck. Yeah. Um. Because I remember when, like, when I would be depressed, and then sometimes I would go, 
you're like, well, either you're going to make yourself feel worse by looking yeah. at Twitter or looking at the YouTube comments, mm-hmm. or you're trying to look for a boost, right? Mm-hmm. So either you're worse. fucked either way, because then you're like, there's five good things, and then one person fucking hates your guts. So yeah. I learned in therapy, when you're feeling depressed, do not look at shit that That's will true. potentially make you feel and worse. And your brain weirdly points you towards it mm-hmm. yeah, yeah you crave it you crave it it's yeah. and i know that and that's why it, it sucks because i'm right now fully disengaged and i think that a lot of our fans are bothered by that because i'm very public i say i don't i don't read any comments i don't i'm not even on social media and the shame is that there's a lot of great people that i would love to connect with but for me right now in the place that i am it's like you have to take if you don't want the bad, then you, you can't take the bad without the good. It's like you you either take the good and the bad, or you don't take any of it at all. That's true. And I don't think I can take any of it at all right now. Then, that's, don't. then, you know, then that's you know. right. You yeah. should listen to yourself on that. Yeah, and so that's why I'm trying to like really disengage. Good that's for good. you. That's actually a very it's a very self aware and 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 intelligent move on your part. To and have that. Ela filter through like she is doing for you, right? You're reading and keeping up, and then if there's something Mm -hmm. he needs to see, then he'll fucking see it. If not, you don't have to see that shit. I feel like people use that now, the fact that I am disengaged. Yeah, whatever. (laughs) (laughs) Whatever. I'm dealing with it. Yeah. Good for you. Um, All right. uh, This dude's here to put some stuff up. Oh, Jesus. Okay. all right, we um, this was really the best. It's Thank you so guys. Nice. For this was awesome. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, when you see that, you have to see the place I'm working on. Uh, <laughs> I'd love to show it to you. Sometime. <laughs> yeah. Of um, course. No. So, guys, if you don't know, um, if you're not uh, one of the cool kids, uh, the H3. What? Uh, where'd the name come from? Yeah. What's H3? Just our initials. Oh. Okay. Oh. Ela yeah. Hackman and Ethan Edwards. My middle name. H3. He he was taken. I got you. H so, three, H three. Nice, okay, H three, H three podcast. Uh, the gear that we've been rocking because we're models. <laughs> Teddy Fresh whoop, whoop. from the Mind. Ela Klein. Thank you. Um, yeah, you guys are a lot of fun. Check out their uh, amazing YouTube channel. They have H three videos and there's H three podcast. Yes. Yeah. There's all kinds of stuff. Thank our closing you. song. We all, our listeners also send in songs they make. Mm-hmm. It was called White Trash Come Dump <laughs> <laughs> by Patrick. And that'll be it. Uh, oh, the tour's on sale. Friday, I'll have a uh, blue band post. There's a tour video that was made oh. of this tour oh. uh, to promote the tour. That'll go out on the channel on Friday as well. Go to tomsegura.com slash tour. Those are all new 2019 dates uh, on sale Friday. And that's it. All right. Oh, and pick up the FGTRTD women's only women's only T-shirt for now. girls that ride till death. <laughs> mm. Of which there are none in the room. That's, that's rude right. as shit. That's right. That is rude that's as hell. Well, it's just factual. It's just factual. <laughs> okay. And that is that. All right. Bye, guys. Thank bye, you. Jeans. Bye. Bye. That's what the fuck and fuck good. You're a hot black guy. You want to fuck me at $23.95. If you want to move in, you can move in. But you're going to fuck, fuck, I need you to fuck the lot. I need you to fuck the lot. Fuck the lot. Fuck the lot. Fuck the lot. Every free food, free rent, and everything else, man. Here's a deal, man. Men from jail, homeless, or um, you're a thug. You want to come move in. Your friend can move with you, man. Man. Free rent, you can lease in a cage. Fuck me. Piss on me, B. You home man out. Piss on me, B. You see me when I come over today? Try it out, try it out, man. Try it out. In my building, try it out. Try it out. Try it out. Fuck, try it out. Fuck, man. I'm looking for hardcore guys. I need it. I want to do it. I want to deliver it. Fuck, man.